Watching the old Zealand, a minesweeper champion, the dragon of Portugal, vice captain America, the world's fourth greatest forehand, and a geography semi finalist at the world championships. I'm looking at 50 Celsius right now. Literally half what it was the last time we were trying to do this. Literally half. He's back. Yes. As I was reminded by Discord, I apparently had promised to stream yesterday. I totally forgot and treated yesterday as a huge rest day. 
after all the apartment stuff. So that's my bad. But I did spend uh, about five hours on Friday to fix the computer and it does work now. It is ice ice, baby. What happened to vanilla ice, by the way? Anybody know? What's Gold vanilla bacon. ice doing? Gold bacon for stones. Thank you so much for the year. Seabass, thank you for the 13 months. Conrad, thank you for the 23 months. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Almost to Fatwa Year, Mark. You are the only streamer I watch consistently. Love your backslash our stuff. Said I finally got a case for your sign glass. Too soon they stay mint. Conrad, that's awesome. May it stay mint for 100 years. Conrad. Well, Al Ice did a home renovation sale, if I remember correctly. There's no way that's true. A vanilla Ice did a home renovation show. Anybody else watch House of the Dragon yesterday? Game of Thrones universe is back. His name is Robert Matthew Van Winkle. Sometimes you just can't make this stuff up. Skanoodle, thank you for the six months. How would the Maguire for Polisic trade make you feel? A little weird, honestly. It'd make me feel weird. I don't think Polisic should go to United. I think he should go to like Atletico Madrid or Syria. Clark, welcome to your first stream. Great opening episode. It was nice. Thought it was good. I guess they've decided to shoot it a little bit of it. Like they've edited it and shot it and the set design. It's a little bit different than, than Game of Thrones. No spoilers. I'm not another no, Look, do you want spoilers? Freaking Google it. It's a book. It is already known what is going to happen. Just for the record. If you don't want spoilers, don't Google it. I did. I know how it ends. Completely found that out on accident. So we're looking at Vanilla Ice. He was a television host, so that's no joke. So he said he did a home renovation show. Uh, independent releases. That, hmm. Legal issues. Mainstream success over four years. Okay, 2010 to present. Seven months. Can you believe it? Hot parents said thank you for the gifted subs. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gifteds, my dude. All the love, Scotty Rippin. Thanks for the eight months. FM Wonder Kids, thanks for the seven. Propane Burrito, thanks for the eight. That is actually true, though. I totally Googled, like, the name of a cast member in House of the Dragon and then just got, like, a huge spoiler because the, the book's obviously already out. Turkish Dan, you thank you so much for the Prime. And Willie QC, thank you for the Prime. Your brother X is a bit of a mad lad. All right. And we've officially reached the point of, I don't care if Vanilla Ice ran a TV show. I really don't. But apparently he did, and that's fun for him. Frosty Fullback, thanks for the seven months. Uh, Brismac, thank you for the two months. Do you upload your save somewhere so we can play it with your players? Yes. I always upload it once I'm done, though, because I don't like getting my own save spoiled. But, you know, I, this has never happened because I've never released a save while I'm playing it because then people will be like, no, sign this guy. His potential ability is this, right? And, like, I don't want to have to not look at that in the chat. I'm trying to avoid it. What's I hear about the Manchester United protest today? Uh, yeah, it's about, let, let's see, it was on my, uh, Twitter earlier. It's like 10,000 people. It's only because they're losing. Are they, uh, can I, can I just say, I really, I, I'm getting a little tired of people pretending that they're protesting because they feel like they're, like, does anybody care about Stan Kroenke now? Hold, hold on, I'm about to, Matt, I'll read that in a second. I'm about to make a point. Like, is anybody protesting Stan Kroenke anymore because they're winning? And then, of course, you say that and people are going to be like, yeah, I still don't like him. Yeah, but you're not standing in front of the freaking stadium anymore. You're busy posting on Twitter about how like, oh, my, you know, oh my, like what did what did what did Hugh Lowry say? The actor that played House, he sees our soul fan. He said like, all we have to, you know, all right, can we keep this up for another 35 games? Right. You know what I mean? It's like, OK, if, if, if United was winning, it wouldn't be happening. Hi, is it? And it's vain and it it's kind it's vain and it kind of annoys me now. Like I get it. I hate the Glazers too. Right? 
But I, 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 pretending that it's much deeper than if we were winning, it wouldn't be happening is, is kind of stupid because you know what? We used to protest the Glazers, then we won the Super Bowl. And now we go and you know, like, if you ask me, I go, oh yeah, I hate the Glazers. Like, yeah, they're not good owners. But I'm also not trying to kick them out of the, the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers anymore because they won the Super Bowl. Alright. I don't like the Glazers. I'm just saying. You protest when you lose, right? You can hate them all the time, but it's just like it's, it's two games into the season. So they got blown out by Brentford. Pride is hurt. I get that. Right? You're Manchester United. You don't want to lose to Brentford. Hey, what did we get? What what did uh what playing time did we give him? I'm like literally in the middle of talking right now and I was not paying attention. French player. That's fine. Okay. Wages after five international appearances. Uh, I'm okay with four years. Uh, Jerson, why, why, why was it too far apart, dude? Why was it too far apart? I don't get it. Do you think the match tonight will be good? No, I think Liverpool's gonna blow him out. Thank you, Principal Agent. I did find out though that the Kool Aid Man played on a baseball team. He was the pitcher. It's an A minus, Toby. That was actually a really good dad joke. I'm going to use that in real life. That was really good. Football's filled with people a hell of a lot more shady than the Glazers. Exactly. I don't see Newcastle caring about anything. It's stupid, man. Like, the Glazers are obviously bad, right? But, you know. I wish it wasn't the case where nobody cared as long as you won, but nobody cares as long as you won. All right. I mean, Liverpool joined the Super League, dude. They did the same stuff. They just win. I've recently learned how to play Mamma Mia on the Didgeridoo. It's Aboriginal. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, con I'm, I'm feeling confrontational today. That's the whole fandom thing. Drives me up a wall. I, I'm on a one man crusade about like stupid fandom. You know what I mean? One way crusade. One man, one man wolf pack. I'm scared. I don't want to, I don't want to lose Gustavo. I am scared. Yes. I didn't want the escalator because I think he's going to get the deal. Uh, loan back to America to Cali. No, he's literally already going to be playing there until January. Leave me alone. Uh, but we just, yeah, Gustavo Duran's actually a really good pickup for us uh, because he's got great potential and fits our system. And I, I don't know, he's $2.3 million. We've had an eye on him forever and he's good. And we finally were able to, be able to, to get the negotiation done and it's over. You see Dortmund lose to Werder Bremen? Yes, they got FM'd, obviously. Well, that was one of those things where they, they had the lead, right? With 90 minutes, like 90 minutes gone and they were up 2 nothing, and then they lost 3-2. to two. Or I think it was like 88 minutes gone and they were up 2 to nothing, And then they went and lost 3-2. to two. First match is Ajax today in the Champions League away. So we're going to have to get our focus up quick. Arsenal fans are too busy being doing the Saliba chant to care about the Cronkies right now. I don't know what the Saliba chant is, but I'm sure it's fun. Yeah, don't worry. Arsenal starts losing again, or they get like smacked around. There'll be uh there'll be a protest. Like, uh, okay, who is supposed like the issue, particularly with the Glazers, right? And I know I I I I, I had a United fan recently in my DMs who sent me some documentary about all the bad things the Glazers have done, and he's like, it's so much more than just the way they finance the club. And I'm like, okay, um, okay. Yeah, they financed the club horrifically, right? They took out a loan and then paid the loan down with the profits from Manchester United. And if I did that, I could buy I, I could buy Manchester United. Like that's stupid. But always a pleasure to see you on Mondays at Cheers. Cheers, my dude. I 
Like, who's supposed to own a team, right? They should just do it the way Germany does it. 51% should be owned by the fans. I, I like, you want to solve every problem? And I don't know why they don't do this. So you saw this, that, that, that is what, that's something I can get behind. Fortin, thank you for the seven months. Callum, thank you so much for the 16. I've learned to play Mamma Mia on the didgeridoo. It's aboriginal. It's an A minus. You gotta do the 50 plus one. You have to do the 50 plus one. You wanna solve all these problems? Like if you want an entire club to be financed by one person, that one person is probably gonna have done some shady <laughs> right? And if they didn't, they did some shady stuff to buy the team, right? Cause it takes a stupid amount of money to finance a team. Doesn't quite solve the problem of Bayern dominating the league. <laughs> Bayern's just really good at what they do. And I real I'm wearing a Bayern kit today, but I'm not like a particular Bayern simp. It's probably hard to believe if you're here for the first time. I've never worn the Bayern kit on stream before, as far as I remember. So great timing on my part, but like Bayern's just really good at what they do. Leipzig had a shot at him. Dortmund had a shot at him for a while. For crying out loud, they met in a Champions League final. There was a Champions League final that was Bayern against Dortmund. Yeah, Bayern just does it better, right? That doesn't mean that the 50 plus one inherently makes one team the best team. <laughs> no, you're getting overconfident in the face of Salzburg here. Is that Sievert Mansvik? Andre Lunin's that Ukrainian keeper. We do like we do like some Andre Lunin, Octavio Rias. Rias. Hi. Time for Bayern to start over at the bottom of the German pyramid. Yeah, just recycle. They get the last pick in the draft. That's how it works. Might have binged every video this weekend. Rio Facer. I'm glad I can help. Welcome to the streams. They're just scary good at management what they have. Healthy with wages and transfers. Yes. Bayern's very good at what they do. I don't really like them. I think they're pompous. I think they're kind of annoying sometimes. But there, it is impossible to deny that Bayern is incredibly good at what it does and keeps the rest of its league down. And in, in uh, Germany, they don't spread the TV revenue equally. I don't think they should. If you have 50 plus one ownership, I don't think you should spread the TV revenue equally. I think there should be some sort of financial reward from, from the value that you provide for the broadcast revenue. I, 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 like, I do not think that the U.S. system of a completely even playing field with, you know, like... A completely even playing field with salary caps and the like is not the system that should be in place. But I do think a 50 plus one ownership system uh, should be in place. And I think it would solve so many problems that so many different people have with so many different ownership groups. If you did a 50 plus one and then you just had like a chairman of the board or whatever. Like you had a Florentino Perez. I, mean, I think the reason that a team like Real Madrid in particular can have such a rounded... I don't think Barcelona does it well because they have too many elections, right? And so you just end up with people kind of pump and dumping for short-term gain and screwing the pooch, like screwing the pooch in the long term. But somebody like Florentino Perez, as detestable as he is, right, provides stability, long-term thinking. Like, look at the midfield they've got in Real, like Real Madrid's set for the next 15 years. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. To me, because I'm not like, you know, I don't like Perez and I want him to fail. <laughs> but like they're set. Valverde, Camavinga, Shuameni, set. That's behind the guys they already have there. Vinicius is up top too. Like they are set. Rodrigo, Mr. You know, the, the Real Madrid's Divac Origi is already in place. Joke got a D. 
so I'm thinking of a joke about construction. I'm still working on it. <laughs> no, Casemiro's gone. Modric and Cruz are in elder care. They're done. The next midfield is already there. That like that that's what you guys have to understand. Like what Florentino Perez is doing is the next midfield is already there. Real Madrid doesn't have to sign another midfielder for 10 years. Right, they can let Casemiro go. They've got Camavinga. They have Shuamini. They're already there. They're already really good. Luka Modric, yes. And Tony Cruz, yes. So they sub out Tony Cruz the 60th minute of every game. Modric is special, obviously. But, like, they're already there. Yeah, that's just the way he's built it, is that they're already there. All right. Hello, Ajax. Shall we dance? And then we are away to Salzburg, and then I think we play Bayern. So on that, on the on the Bayern note today, we do play Bayern. They are in our group. <sighs> thank you so much to Haptic, by the way, for the 14 months. Noble, thank you for the 10. Uh, that is exactly the reason that our computer busted in the first place. Schaffner, thank you for the prime. Joey, thank you so much for the two months. Conhow, thank you for the six months. Or Hoosby, thank you for the seven. Mad Larkin, thank you for the nine. It's time for our Twitch baby, and they shall be named Brendan Tyler Marsh Esquire. What a great weekend for U.S. soccer in Leeds. I think every Chelsea supporter is now legally, legally required to call it soccer. Maybe. Maybe just a little. 60 million for Casemiro seems like desperation. It is desperation. Manchester United, some of the dumbest money in the market. If they're spending that kind of money, it's usually because they're panicking because they lost to Brentford. Can you imagine spending $60 million because you're panicking? And you wonder how their net spend was like a billion dollars in the red over the last 10 years. They're like, oh, we're freaking out. Real Madrid's like, oh, we kind of don't need Casemiro anymore because we got all these great young midfielders here. Do you want him? Sure. Match made it happen. Match made it happen. The yearly panic buy, uh, Jesse Marsh trolling Tuchel was phenomenal. Jan Trujillo, if he started looking for the pass instead of the shot, would be phenomenal. This distribution is excellent. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Jakob Pospich will get forward whenever possible. Also works for me, yes. S stop trying to develop the weaker foot. Diego Quintero now has a reasonable weak foot, which is as high as we can get with the basic level of training without any individual agency. Stefano de Este, are you still mad? Is like everybody's still mad? I can't remember. We're gonna have to do a quick contract check after we get out of this uh, staff meeting. Because there are a couple of contracts we're looking to extend, but there are release clauses in our way. So, anybody mad? Uh, de Este is still mad and Bube is still mad, but that means Xander Henneman's not. And of course we would love to uh, give him a big salary boost. Now, he would love to do a release clause, and he would go up to 36. I don't really want to do that. Um, obviously. Take a look at a couple of our contracts. There's Diego Quintero, and then the 32s. Dieste is one of them, which we don't like. Jakob Pospisil is one of them, but of course, we cannot get rid of the, uh, the release clause that he's mandating, although it has gone up, so hopefully it just eventually goes away. Bubes get the same issue. And, you know, we can't really extend anybody else. Sander Henneman, from what I understand, we just looked at it, so why am I even saying anything? From what I understand, he is not a man of improvement, you know. Something, words. Okay, Portimusebi, no, Mama Bube, you know. Uh, Vanderhorst, Aviv, yeah, that's all good. Oh, yeah, our contract situation's fine. We could just play Ajax tomorrow, let's do it. Any tips for players being more consistent? Once they've fully adapted to being in the country, their consistency is their consistency.
Oh yeah, we did get um we did get Julio Cesar Benegas in a seven year contract, so Oh well <laughs> is happy to stay the final man that was attempting to roast me publicly has decided he wants to be here no release clause that's what i'm talking about baby that's what i'm talking about yes we're doing deals today we're doing deals michelangelo parat pizza pizzas he wants to talk okay that's fine michelangelo pizzas i want an extension I want a two-year optional contract extension with the club. No. Wages after international appearances are gone. I want an optional contract extension by the club for two years. Do you not understand what I am saying to you? I will pay you 2.41 million for a two-year option. <laughs> the deal we're so close i'm aware that we're close give me one yeah five year deal for stefano de este that's what i'm talking about we're fming here it's all about fming all the time we are doing deals today we are just look at that Look at all those chickens. Hey, so Brendan Aronson's pretty good. That old Leeds team. Everybody telling me that I was crazy for picking Leeds as high as I did. At least I'm looking smart there because I definitely didn't put Brentford 19th in my uh, Premier League predictions. Def not. I, I would never. I did not do that. I didn't put Brentford 19th in my Premier League predictions. Why would I have done that? Copium? I'm not coping at all. Definitely not. I didn't put Brentford 19th. I would have never done that. I was at least right about Leeds, though, so. FC Copium Hagen? <laughs> I am stealing that. I am stealing that. Hello, Marcelo. It plays for FC Copium Hagen. This one sounds like I can smell it in the air. Topper, Toper, thank you for the tier one. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Thank you. Uh, do they play in the Copium Del Rey? It's perfect. Is he you sick? I'm always nasty with it. Hey, Zed. I know you've been holding your Dubsy plans close to the chest, but I wondered if you'd thought about doing a watch party in NYC at some point. See, the thing is, I'm sure there's going to be like massive, super fun watch parties um, in New York already, and I wouldn't want to compete with those. I would want to just go to a massive watch party in New York. Of course, that is if I am in New York during the World Cup. Yildiz winds up opponents. Always knew he had that dog in him. Hey, uh, Dane, stop getting worse, bud. 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 Old buddy, old pal. Florence Dorfer look to extend Stefano de Este's contract. Absolutely, we look to extend Stefano de Este's contract. Devlin, thanks for the prime. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes. See you on the next Save Your Saves, my dude. Fans overreacting. I mean, it is it is the job of fans. It's what we're born to do now. We're working our way through our short lists, keeping them all updated and everything, and I need to get rid of Ignatius Ganago. Andrea Piamonti. Of Yalatasaray, Pablo Maffeo. Hashtag Blazers out. Oh, Sid Williams, thank you for the, uh, for the 14 months.
You still not signed Shao Lucas? Nope. I don't have $230 million, unfortunately. And if I did, I think I'd just buy an island. Build a giant field on it, and then they shall come like the movies. Douglas Louise. Actually, very cheap. After you retire this save, we should come together and reminisce on the good yieldings. <laughs> close enough. It was close enough. C+. Plus. Tropical Island FC. Like the Zealand Mr. Beast. I played football manager in real life. We bought an island and the person that wins this football manager tournament gets to keep it. See, I could do it. I couldn't, man. That guy's crazy. He's so good at what he does. Yeah, that, that's what I do. I buy an island. All of a sudden, it's like giant football manager tournament to see who wins it. <laughs> Zealand buys the. <laughs> Zealand did, yeah, Zealand makes significant investment in development of Faroese youth players. That would, I would not be shocked. I would not be shocked if that was a headline you clipped from like the future and you're like, yeah, hey, look at what Zealand's up to. Of course, that's what he's doing. I mean, look at, look at this fool. Look at this dude, man. Look at this dude. Olimosawe, you were bad, dude. Lozagovich, Xaver Schlager. He's old and slow now. He was never fast. Now he's old and slow. Look this dude, man. Look this dude. Oh, weird. Weird fullback there, Daniel Ordelt. Hey, now boy, Shavuya Clea dropped the, an 8.4 and we won. I really don't like how they don't, they, they don't make, there we go. Uh, 2-0 over Ajax's U18s. Nice. Bayern beat Krasnodar away 3-1 and a couple of goals from Kai Havertz and Bizente Mansour to put it away, which means that doesn't change anything. If we win this game, we are top of the group. Give me a quick pick to start. Um... Okay, Bube, you are in goal. Devletchen uh, is there. I would like Stefano de Este and Julio Cesar. Banger Negas. And Jakob Pospichel. Can we go Noah? Maybe. And then Enriquez, Dane, and Trujillo. That could work. Kind of short a guy, though. Sir Vanderplas has got a twisted knee and is completely out. Richardson's got a sprained ankle. And uh, Jaime Contreras, who we recalled from loan, is hurt. Then he wouldn't be available anyways. Richardson and Sir Vanderplas are the two guys that would normally be available. They are not here. They are not here. Parado and Benno and gotta go get somebody. Donde los good young players. Should all be tired and they just play. Like, I'm ineligible. I just played in the youth match. This is unfortunate. Could just be uh, we'd bring Stefan Byer. Bring the goalkeeper. Bring the keeper. Bring him now. Stefan Dave is raiding over. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream, Statman Dave. Ehrman, you're in. You're playing in the Champions League, Ehrman. He's not. 
Thanks for raiding. I hope you had a good stream. I hope everybody there had a good time. We are about to drop into our first Champions League match of the stream. We're going away to Ajax. Where they lead the line with Gabby Barbosa and Josier. Who are good. And Klavimbach. Still here. Thomas Lamar is hanging out. Vibes. Immaculate. They're a very standard team here. Watch them have inverted wingbacks that I forgot to check for. And then we just get absolutely exposed. Yeah, we had uh, we have some short kings on our team. What about it? So this is the lineup. We're gonna go Enriquez, Dane, Trujillo, Noah Mbamba, Devlech and Pospisil, Benegas, Deaste, Bube, Irve, and Henneman. That's the lineup. Now I should switch Irve and Henneman, I think. Yeah. Who do we have leading the, the counterattack? It should be Henneman. And so it is. And so it is written. a rough group that's not bad every group was kind of the same to be honest with you it was like they were all kind of the same so much thank you for the 16 months uh shot thanks to the gifted sub dude. Wow. i see i see a gifted from shot 206 who's gifted a bucket of subs now so it's an illustrious career Sinex, thank you for the 19 and sandstorm thank you for the 10 months as part of the hammers i appreciate it dude Are right, you ready? Born ready. on this save colloquially known <clears throat> colloquially known as Ajax in their ungodly nature shall they be smited for they do not follow you FM gods The way that we do, clearly. And they cruelly took the Europa League from us two seasons ago. But like the Flying Dutchman in 2014, we seek revenge! What has happened before? And we know that in your wisdom, if you believe it a just cause, you shall give us the bounce of the ball today, FM gods. You will. Of Ansi Carolinen, Ja Silva, Johnny Cano, and Eric Mendez, we pray.
Let's do it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We owe them. After what? Yeah, I know most of you weren't here, but we do owe them. You might not know that, but we do. Come on, team! Here we go, team! Yes, team! audio all part of the experience chat welcome to football manager how dare you how dare you rob me of this moment it's not even showing up in my apps that are open I just want to play a champion's like one, one one normal day. One normal day of Barclays will never happen. Match. Legends. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Uh, that's the wrong one. No, it is supposed to be in Volume Mixer. That's where volume coming from different apps shows up. So if I click play test, nothing happens. That's good. I wasn't excited to play the game. Let's just uh let's just fix football manager again. Where <sighs> Here I am. Just wanting some in match audio. And uh, it's not here. It was never here. You turned it on. No, I didn't turn anything off Thursday. It was buffering because of the overheating. I muted it on my soundboard. I didn't turn anything off. Alas, we can beat IX with audio or no audio. We've reached everybody's favorite point where I, I now don't care enough to uh, to find the uh, the button. Although there, there isn't just one button. Clearly, it's just decided it's not going to work. Enriquez. It'd be really, really nice if he actually showed up and dudes uh, like just did something. That's sin. I am new. You need to reset the game. I already did. I ran into the problem last night and figured just restarting my computer would solve it, so it wasn't uh, something I was worried about until I went into the game today and it still wasn't on, so that was good. Okay. At least we're defending in a pack here. Got four guys defending nothing. It's all part of the plan. Just one bad rotation. Who was nervous? Is that Banegas? He shouldn't be nervous. We have a press on the keeper, force the long ball. We're there. Dude! Uh, 
Win the ball. Oh my God, we've had the ball like four times. And we were literally, was holding hands with the guy that had the ball that time. Thank you. Thank you. Dane, Henneman, Irve. Ooh, the pass is on. Trujillo, nice touch. Very difficult touch. And now to the middle, and now we're we're on. We're putting the pressure on. That was, oh, one more. This is good though. Our pressure looked really, really good. Over the course of that possession, took us forever to win the ball. Oh, it's there. It's there. It has to be there. <laughs> Fly away with the Dorfers. That was gorgeous. No, Mbamba's actually the guy that opened that up. And, and you know, Jakob Pospichel's ability to run nonstop for 90 straight minutes also opened that up. Look at Stefano de Este. Nice touch, Hervé. Oh, he's not on, though. He's not on side. There's simply no way. Uh, he's just not on side. But Hervé is... Er Hervé with the balance, the strength, the control of the ball from Max. Oh, get in. Get in. Get oh, no. Why did you miss by that much? How did you miss by that much? That was perfect. You're like, just the best ball striker we've ever had, Max. It was on his footedness. At least we're kind of tracking the guys. Yeah, that was good. Ooh, this is very good. Run, Kevin. Run, Kevin. Run, Kevin. Play the ball, Kevin. No, God, Kevin. Oh, you look like a lost child on that. That's what happens when a defensive midfielder gets a nice opportunity to run forward with the ball. What the heck is going on? That was beautiful. Their goalkeeper is like way too good under pressure right now. Come on, Bube. Oh, he went to Orve. Yes, he might be on. No, God. Come on, Hinneman. Keep it together. Hervé is doing some serious work to try and get you the ball if you can just stay onside. We need to talk about that, Kevin. Kevin doesn't want to talk about that. Keep going. We will get there eventually. Look, I still have faith in you, Benegas. You're the only nervous one, which is annoying. You should not be nervous. I, you, you play. You have like 10 caps for Mexico at 18. You are a big... Big stage player, dude. You were, in, you were at the World Cup. There, easy, deflection, brilliant. Oh my goodness, we're good. We are so good. Oh, Enriquez, good tackle. Henneman. Trujillo, yes, Max Dane! Oh, it was so good. That was so good. That whole buildup was so nasty. Dane made the run. He just couldn't score it to Dieste. Stefano. Come on, chap. We're looking swaggerific. This is a way to Ajax. We can pick up three points here. That goes a very long way. Good control. Way to lay it off. Oh, he's going right for it. It's open. Dane. Score, dude. Score! <sighs> great ball by Kevin that time. Dane is making fantastic runs. He's showing great effort, but he is not showing a finishing touch. Hi, Dad. We watching United tonight? Yes. Yeah, we will be watching uh, United Liverpool. That is part of the stream. We're going to stream up and tell it and then disperse everybody to witness what I believe will be a pretty significant beatdown. Casemiro's not there yet. It's a good header. Stay with him. Stay with him. Oh, you freaking lost him. Unbelievable. 
Oh, we've dominated them. We've completely dominated them. That is such a bad goal to give up. Bad goalkeeping as well. Every part about that goal, from the effort to get to block the shot, the effort to keep the guy crossing the ball in front, like, was awful. That was all awful. We're so much better than they are. But evidenced by the fact that we have had multiple 1v1s that we have not put away in this game. Give me Owen. Or give, yeah, give me Owen. What's up? Uh, Xander is also on a 6.3, which you just love to see when your star strikers drop in that kind of performance. Nice, nice defense. Oh, why are you just standing there trying to put your hand up, dude? Go, go, go! What we need to do is score at least one more goal because a draw away to the team that just beat Bayern away is not bad. But we I know we can win this game, so let's so let's. Oh, oh, okay, yes, yes, we will take that. Owen! We will take the no call. Owen. Dane, turn. Oh, use the space. Turn into the space. Enriquez, no. Nice. He was there. He, yeah, stays definitely there and just headed it in on the possibly the worst day I saw. It's just open. Unbelievable. I mean, we've opened up like the Red Sea here. This is so bad. Stefano, I'm watching you. Look at that. Inspired, inspired defending. Can we just get out of our own way? Can we score the goals and defend the way we know we have? Like, we know we can. All right, Kevin. Good give and go. Urfe, you cannot get beat to that. I, mean, I don't know how he got the ball first. I thought he lost the race. Sub. All right. Had enough, Sander. Stefan Verhoeven. It's going to give me a little shot in the arm here down the stretch. And we do have Aviv Talius. We're going to drop him Bamba. We're going to bring in Aviv Talius. Just another guy that can make plays, make a pass um, that we need for these last 20 minutes so that we can get the goal that we really rightly deserve here. Our Vey! I mean, Dieste also is just not done well there, but... Is that Metzala? That's definitely Metzala. So, well, can I get a striker that can make a run, please? 6.2 from Hinneman today. Absolutely, the Metzala run from Klavinbach. We just, I mean, after they scored that second goal, we've just lost the ability to put pressure on them in this game. We've completely lost the ability to put pressure on them in this game. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go inside foot on both sides, please. Come on, thank you. We had to complete control of this game and then we slip up, give that goal. That's a nice pass by Verhoeven. All right, Kevin, swing it around, dude. You got the other fullback over there. This isn't Puspicial's game. That's better though. This is better. Talia's wide, other direction. Oh my goodness, dude, stop with I love Jakob as much as the next guy, but I don't know what, like, does Devletchen have bad breath or something? We just don't want to pass on the ball?
Okay. Don't take me back to when we were dominating this game. These are the these are points in the group that we should not be giving up. These are points in the group that we should absolutely not be giving up. I didn't want to go up with the lines, but we have to now. That's fine. It does leave us exposed to the way that they play with the two strikers and Krav and Birch living in the channel, but we need to get some bodies up the field, please. Hey, United City, thank you so much for raiding over. I hope you had a good stream. Absolutely maddening. We shanked 1v1s like it was our job and we gave up. <sighs> maddening. Maddening result. Well, at least I know we're better than them now. At least I know we're better than them. We can take some solace in that. Today, I'm too tired for that, but thanks for your streams, Zed. You've made me a better FM player. I'm glad I've been able to help. I get a squad list, the thing we talked about yesterday. Yes, sorry. Oh yeah, we did score two offside goals as well. So that's all, that's all beautiful. It's all part of the process. Creeping closer to that golden bacon, the Dorfers will bounce back for sure. annoying we have Bayern uh, next two matches are Bayern as well uh, Jasper thank you though for the 10 and uh, the gold bacon will be here before you know it fiddlesticks I know we can freaking beat Bayern too, and we're probably gonna have to beat them once. We wanna get the Champions League knockout stages now. Like, I know we can, I just, ugh. We could have made our lives so much easier with the three points there, and we gave ourselves so many chances to get the three points there. And we missed them all. We missed all of them. Every single one. Ryan, thank you for the four. Thank you for the prime. Blocks of ice. Thanks for the 19 months. I'm, I'm going to relax. I'm going to get reclined. Take a deep breath. There's a lo long, long time. Long time left. Long time left. The Champions League. Up the Dolphins. Long time left for us. That doesn't look very good. I'll be honest with you. 
Nicholas Bond of RB Leipzig. Also, don't believe you. A Fifi? I don't believe my scout has ever actually watched him play. I think he's just waiting. Best seven months ever. Yo, Yvonne, thank you for the seven, and uh, I appreciate it. I'm glad you've been here for the seven months. Thanks for being such an important part of the Ambers. Haven't had the chance to watch any streams the last few months, frown. But you're here now. So you've done something right. You made a decision at some point in your life that was the correct one, yikes. Thanks for the 11. I appreciate it. Hey, associate ad, Drew Man City. Bill Bow blew out Dortmund. Some crazy things going on. Inter needed a 93rd minute goal to draw Zolta Varagam. And Sparta Prague beat Villarreal 2 to 1. Ah! <sighs> Four matches is plenty of time. Half of them against Bayern. Herb, thanks to the eight. We did beat Bayern Champions League knockouts three years ago. We did do that. I would like to take out my anger on Salzburg, please, if that's possible. Are we not done updating the freaking shortlist yet? I mean, my goodness. Enriquez just got called to the uh, Columbia national team, which is fun. My next question is, if we are not done with this shortlist, like the updating of our shortlist, how many more people are left, dude? There's Damian Bernard. We almost spent like $10 million on him. Oh, uh, well, it's got really nice tools. Iguj Ba, Kaike Cavallo. Zaki Siddiqui, yes, Gonzalo Vilar. Oh, that's the guy that uh, he was on Salzburg forever. We've had to play against Gonzalo Vilar so often. I'd steal one of IX's wonder kids to make me feel better. And that would make me feel better. This guy's not the bee's knees. Doesn't have the work rate or the stamina to do the jobs that he would be tasked with doing. I just finished fifth in the Bundesliga with a wage budget of 14 million and I don't understand how that is possible. Are tactics and a good atmosphere that powerful? Uh, they can be. And look, they've, they're, hey, hey, the low end of the price range for Jean Lucas is down to 204 million. I think we should make a move. I think we should go. Baron, thanks to the tier one. Uh, I appreciate it. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Uh, is Herman a proper first teamer? Uh, no, sorry. He, he was, no, he's not. He was just up there. He's an amateur player. All right, he's a second team player that we brought up. Yeah, make the move. 204 million is the low end of the range that we would need to offer to get Shao Lucas onto the team. Seems easy. Seems easy. There's no re there is no reason not to do it, obviously. Do, 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 do. Who else is called uh, Mark Aaron Wolf back with the German national team, which we know we're familiar with. The under 21 call-ups are extensive. Yep. Hey, Allie, do you want a contract that doesn't have a release clause in it? At least he's happy to stay. Benegas is going to ink his new deal, which is nice. Charlie Patino, we are finally too good. 
for Charlie Patino. I feel like that's just a point you reach. Alas, we are finally too good. Charlie Patino. Ah, yes, the center back that has just no technical defensive ability either. My favorite. My favorite of all the center backs. Manuel, it's actually a decent striker, so we'll give him a chance. But I think that, that might just be it. Yeah, we're down to 55 guys in our scouting priority. I think we've basically done that. We've toasted it. That's good. All right, we can go back to we can go back to chilling. We can go back to chilling. All right, Kevin's doing well. That's good. Nelson Parado had one explosive turn of development. Xander Henneman is showing signs of getting better. Still can't finish his dinner, right? But, oh, Yield is. Doing what Christian Yield is does. Benegas doing Benegas things. Stefano de Este just getting better. Needs to improve that composure, definitely, but we still love him. Aviv Talius. I did not see that coming from Aviv Talius. That's good. We love that. Vanderhorst, hi. Uh, Noah Mbamba, hello. Ali Bube. Really happy you want to be here. Uh, and the praise is actually going to have an impact on his mentality, but still not good. That him and Pospisil are both released, and Henneman, but even though know, Xander's a year more under contract. But those three guys are release clause tied, and we want to give them new. Uh, we would love to give them new contracts and extend them further into the future, but we don't have that opportunity. Valentino Pedretti. Your time has passed on our short list, Valentino. Have a wonderful life. Dane working on finishing. Uh, no, I think he's working on his quickness. I just started watching this save on YouTube. Should I watch this stream or is it too much of a spoiler? I mean, it depends. All right, uh, the YouTube is about three streams behind right now. It will be caught up this weekend, as long as we can get all the rest stuff packaged in time. Save can only end when Lucas signs. There. Is the Austrian forward Zimmerman? He's out on loan. He's getting his work in. He needed playing time. Been watching your videos on YouTube for a while. First time catching you live. Pretty new FM. Can I ask you how to get the real faces on uh, new gens? Uh, we made a face pack that actually does that. Ethnically accurate faces uh, on all of your new gens in the game. Uh, and there are multiple install guides out there that we have made. Uh, but it is very cool. And it is not that difficult to, uh, to get working. What happened to the PC? I just installed a new cooler. Which is a bit annoying because the way that CyberPower builds the computers, it's like all zip tied to Oblivion. I had to cut like no less than 15 zip ties and like take a bunch of stuff out to put it all back in because it was so like intricately put together for me to swap out the cooler. So it wasn't just like, a you know, it wasn't a like for like. It should have taken 30 minutes. It ended up taking like four and a half hours. But, you know, now it works. Now the cooler works and we're good, so... I don't know, to be honest. Uh, good record against Alexander Valky. I don't see it. I don't think it matters. I don't think it, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Doesn't matter at all. We are away to Salzburg. This is what we do. We win der Oosterreich Classiker. We have won our first nine matches in the league. And we would like to win der Oosterreich Classiker. Which we haven't played yet. We have not played Salzburg yet this year. And they're actually good. Alright, so I would say they're back, right? They are back. Okay. Sambo Fafana leads the way for Floridsdorfer's youth team. Thank you, Sambo. So you went to the Monaco Grand Prix earlier this week. The F1 manager game comes out on Thursday. Are you going to be streaming it? I will eventually. I'm not going to be streaming it this week, though. Uh, maybe we give it a shot on Friday. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to play it at some point. When exactly I do play it is still, uh, still a little up in the air in my mind, but I'm going to play the F1 manager game at some point. My new, man, uh, new game manager says invalid RTF every time. 
You forgot to change the view on the player search. Fortunately for you, that is the easiest fix. And what I mean by that is when you go to the player search, this needs to be that. You're doing everything else right. That is all you need to do. Your RTF is invalid because it can't read this. It has to be able to read that. Capiche? Quiche? Surprised you're not getting sponsored to play it. Yeah! You gotta fund these trips for all these videos we're gonna do once I move to this new apartment, dude. No, I mean, I'd probably just play it either way, man. I, 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 uh, I think it looks like a cool game. I mean, the graphics in the F1 manager are going to blow my football manager brain, aren't they? Blow my mind. So this, this is kind of a big game. This is kind of a big game. Bube, Devlet, you know, it's not that important. It's just, yeah, it's not a big of a deal. Not that huge. We are going to go Vanderhorst, Enriquez, Max Dane, Young Trujillo. Two left-footed outside midfielders is fun. Hervé looked better. He looked a lot better than Xander Hinneman in that last match, to be honest with you. And that's probably the first time I could say that. But he did. Hervé has been quiet. It's not like he's been bad, but he had been quiet up until that match. And he kind of woke up. He was a presence. Where Xander Hinneman vanished. He's normally huge in big matches. He completely vanished. For the favorites, I want you to play like it. Yeah. All right. Darusa right Classicer on the road, chat. They have played eight matches and they have won seven. We have played nine and we have won nine. So this league is still very tight because Salzburg has reawakened itself. They also have a match in hand on us, so that is fun. Let's do it. Kit, I appreciate the two months. <sighs> Come here. Come here. I really hope DSA ends up with, like, explosive improvement. We could really use that as a club. Stefano just getting explosive improvement. He's getting the gradual improvement, but he has the potential and has never wavered from the fact that his five like that his potential's five stars. Oh, what a one two. And then Hervé forgot to keep the defender behind him. Got the shot off anyways. But I feel like if it was on target, it was blocked. What was the IX result? We lost two to one. Uh, out xg would them though. So, I mean, it's all about the moral victories. What a pass. And we have no angry players. Deaste and Bube have gotten over it. Uh, we're just monitoring uh, Jakob Pospisil and Ali Bube's contract situations and Xander's. We're looking to get a contract uh, in without a release clause in it. Because, you know, we have big club mentality. Is it too late to recall Wolf from his loan? Because that's the second soft goal in as many games that Bubay's given up. The starting goalkeeper for the French national team. Second soft goal in two games. Bubay, the ice is getting thinner, man. That was really bad. Vanderhorst, Enriquez, 
Okay, now we are losing to Salzburg. Oh, nice touch. Eh, he should have shot with his second touch, but he didn't. Our captain, Xander Henneman, the number seven. We needed more, Xander. I, I simply can't believe that that ball went in. That is troubling. This is all troubling. <sighs> Let's go, Enriquez. Oh! Just a little. A little sauce from Kevin. He... Can't be in Bamba. It's got to be um, Parado. Who's nervous, apparently. So that's good. Plays for freaking Argentina, and he's freaking out right now. Uh, Dane was nervous, so I wanted to get him off. At least leave Jan Trujillo in as our midfield. Doesn't seem to be doing that much. Um, yeah, cool. We missed like three 1v1s and then lose against Ajax. Two to one. And now we uh, give up an incredibly soft goal and get a red. We, we we turn it around right here, Jan. Jan! That was the opportunity, Jan, to turn it around. That was the chance. Kevin, there's nobody there. We have to be able to save any header from that location with that velocity of ball. We're still better than they are. Even down a man, we've created the best chance. Come on! Something stuck in my tooth? There we go. I'm having a meltdown. This vintage Salzburg game, yes. It's like, well, there's no question who the better team is, right? We give up a really soft goal and get a red. Defletchen, who I have never had a problem with, is the guy. All right, Trujillo is off. We're actually going to go with Christian Yildiz, Hervé. Struggling a little bit, so maybe Stefan Verhoeven makes an appearance for Hervé on like 65, 70 minutes. Oh, I do like this location. I don't like Xander Henneman getting picked clean. But he repicked, so we're good. Enriquez. Oh, yeah. One more. Yes! 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 Survey a flop. No, he was really good against Ajax in the last game. Great play by Christian Yildiz. Continuing to earn that playing time. The Academy product. Hervé with the hold-up play. Yildiz. Henneman. Classy finish. Just let it run off his foot. Yes. Thank you. Great, great build up play. 1-1. One, one. And now let's go win. Let's go win down a man. We are those dudes. We are that team. We overcome adversity. Enriquez. Good. Vanderhorst. Yield is. Nice combos all the way through. Oh, what a save. Let it go. God. 
Let the ball go, Max. It's going to be a corner, dude. What are you doing? Max. Oh. What a save, dude. Oh. But yeah, Reed. Uh, it's a uh, game glitch. The audio. Oh, my goodness. Yield is. Yield is. Red. Ref. I'm sorry. What? I am so. Excuse me? He just clean. We open them up again like a can. Kevin. It's Kevin. How is Ali Bube my third best penalty taker? Who would know? I'm sure a bunch of you noticed that before me. It's got. It has to be red. He was in. He was literally eight yards away from the goal in front of everybody. He was in on goal. Excuse me. Lovely. I mean, we start. That's perfect point for it to start because you just see this beautiful passing comp. Vanderhorst. Vanderhorst and Yildiz. It's the old school guys. They're not giving him a red. I know this. Oh, red, red, red. Oh. A yellow and a penalty. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Enriquez. Yes. Oh, I thought he saved it. Oh, I thought he saved it. It's Kevin Enriquez. The Colombian 18 year old has scored. I, I thought he saved it. When I saw him hit that ball where it went, I thought he saved it. Sub! 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 Get Benegas off. Get Mbamba in. Three months we need a steady head balls. on the back line for the last 20. Now Mbamba is that steady head. Benegas is struggling with the pressure a little bit. Bring it down, bring it down. Yes. Good. I want us to keep playing the way we're playing because we were honestly really out chancing them down a man. 10 man OP. Okay. Ooh, Parado sneaking up the side. Sander. Oh. That was good. 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 Rapid Vienna is losing to Vacher Innsbruck right now, which would really dampen their spirits. Enriquez. Enriquez. Yield Long is. Time no see. Happy to see One the more. save going well and hope you're doing well, Rat Earl Kiss. I am, Junior. I'm doing really well. And if we could hang on for the next seven minutes, what is that, Kevin? Thank goodness for Stefano de Este. Oh, Hervé. Oh, beautiful. Was the one two on? It wasn't. Yield is. That's on, though. He might be onside. <laughs> bro. Bro. Whatever. It's, it's, it's whatever. It's nothing. It, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it do. Oh, goodness. He might be on. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Thanks be to the FM gods. Thank you. Thank you. That was so close. <sighs> Thank you, FM gods. Thank you. Uh, yep, right in front of you. Oh, we had Parado all the way through. Hervé. Such a bad pass, Max. You are better than that. Oh, that is such a bad pass. Run with him. Run with him. No, Stefano, why are you doing a 360 for no reason? Oh, the guy's not even fast. How does that, like, what is that? He's not even, Urban Sean Kashevi is like 33 years old and not fast to begin with. But he is a great passer. We just gave him an opportunity to put that ball in a plate. Why are we the way that we are, boys? Why are we the way that we are? Oh boy. Away. Unbelievable. Uh, we'll 
turn this up just so it kicks on just in case. A deep free kick penalty. Allie, time for you to... Oh, it was Noah, the guy we subbed in. That's surprising mental lapse for him. All right, here we go. Bube. So I guess... Um, I guess we were just not... We were just destined not to win this game. Soft goal and a pen, like a stupidly soft goal. The worst goal I've ever seen Bube concede. Oh my goodness, let's score. Let's freaking score. Let's do it. Let's just go nuts. Maybe Defletching gets sent off for the first time ever in the 32nd. We still come back and take the lead. And here we go. My goodness, is he on? Well, that's just that ice is the keg. Ref! That ice is the keg. He was offside. I consider my cake thoroughly iced. Thoroughly iced. Oh, yes. That was a great ball. Run! Run, Santa! Run, Santa! All right, Stefano, get your big butt up there. It's Noah and Bamba and Stefano. That was a terrible ball, Kevin. Why would you not? Why did you not go for it? To realign everybody positionally so that we can get a nice attacking spot for this throw in. I mean, I get it. That's a good ball. Eh. That's uh, that, that. That is an absolutely disgusting draw in the Uster, the the Rooster Right Classicer. Absolutely disgusting draw. I I thoroughly believe we were very unlucky today. All the way to my core. That that was special. That was like that was special. That was rare. Fifty months. Time flies when you are having fun. What an amazing group of people you have surrounded yourself with from the editors to the mods to the Z in Hammer Time Z in Com Z in Unity. Also, congrats I know within the next day or two you will reach 200k on your YouTube channel. Z and Z in Hammer Time Z in Com Z in Unity tie for all the good times and looking forward to all the future fun times ahead. Mamba, the first ever account to reach 50 months, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, Mamba, for that. Uh, for being, you know, being the best mom ever. So I'm being used outside his agreed position. Oh, for the love of all, that's good and only. Okay, cool. Easy. I, I took care of that. But Mombot, you're fantastic. Thank you. You've gotten so many people involved in the hammers to begin with. Uh, and, you know, you're a great mod as well. Good at all the things that I am not good at, my mother. Up the Dorfers. Mombot the goat. That's why everybody went to the meet and greet. It was to meet Mombot. Ooh, Mansour Div is apparently... Like that dude from the Real Madrid B team, except 35 to 40 whatever million is a lot of money to roll on somebody that's not an automatic first team player, but maybe, maybe. 25 unbeaten in the league, though, that's solid. 19 min. Oh. <sighs> We'd won 19 league matches in a row. I like how they're asking me about Enriquez as yellow when Devletchen literally got sent off. And they're like, I don't know, man. Kevin Enriquez got a yellow card today. You worried about him getting carried away? Like, oof. It looks like he could be a little bit of a loose cannon. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
According to whom you say these things? Now we play SV Reed, and then we play Bayern in the Champions League. We're still top of the league uh, by five points, but they have a match in hand on us, of course. And uh, we have to assume they're going to win that match in hand, which means we stay just two points ahead of Salzburg in the league at this point, which is not the distance we would like to have with Champions League really now there is no rest at all that will be available aiden thank you for the three months of the prime i appreciate it gustavo duran has signed the deal 2.3 million to be a fringe player on 1.87 million per year in a four-year deal for gustavo duran a holy trinity based striker that comes deep to get the ball and we will have to train that out of him but he is such a cheap acquisition and we believe he has a very bright future and he will be joining us in January after we failed to cinch the contract on deadline day previously. <sighs> Do I promote the best or ideal position of a player? I actually don't know what you mean by that necessarily. Uh, we do have a couple of rate your wonder kids. I'll look to get to those now. Uh, I did see him come through a little while ago and I'm just going to go take a look at it. Kim Seong Min is no, but he is he's a good player. He's just not a good player for us. Okay, let me have a look. It was rate your player from Paul Jamieson. Sent a rate my wonder kid to the Discord. Not sure if I've redeemed properly. You have. Absolutely. So we're looking for Paul Jamieson. There we go. Signed for 5.75 million pounds. 19 years old. Two-time under-21 player of the year. Two-time Champions League defender of the season. Mamma mia. A left back that is... Well, I mean, this is what makes him so good. I'm going to be totally honest. Smart and never stops moving. This is a very good player. I'm going to go with a hard, hard 9.5 out when of 10. Fullbacks need a very go particular set of skills, and he has them. He runs for days. He runs forever. He is a, an incredibly accomplished defender and is very smart. Not super technically gifted as not, is an offensive player, but like you just don't need to be. Serbian coach knows that. 24 caps at the age of 21 for Rade Jakovic. Loki, thank you for the six months. Yeah, gets forward whenever possible. Knocks ball past opponent is necessary. Runs with the ball down the left. 9.5 out of 10. You give your own rating out of 10 as well. Uh, but Paul Jamieson, that is a truly exceptional uh, defender. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I'm going to go 9.5 because if he was really, like, the best fullback in the world, he would have more technical offensive ability. Hey, Stefano de Este signed the new contract that locks him up for three more years so he can get as mad as he wants. Yuri Alberto. There is no reason for us to not offer this guy a contract right now. Absolutely zero. He has five-star potential, according to our scouting department. Who finished the last report? Mbesh. Thank you, Mbesh. Yeah, we offer. So he doesn't play center back. He plays as like a, a ball winning player. This dude's got great potential. He has to play as a, a space eating ball winning midfielder, but he can. Media description is of a center back. I just, eight jumping reach makes me really uncomfortable. Highly interested. And they've done it like Poznan have won the Champions League 12 seasons into the manager's stint. Wage isn't bad at all. It's a release clause at 7.75 million for Yuri Alberto. I'm a believer in Yuri Alberto. I think we move on that. I think he is so good, high potential, and such a good deal for us that yeah, he's not uh he's not a fullback. He do, he doesn't have the prerequisite skills for a fullback. He is the natural Noah Mbamba replacement. He is a center back at a pinch. And then we go in other direction other times. Uh, why are uh, regions always so mediocre at crossing? Well, I mean, that guy, because he's a central player always. Tardis, thank you for the 15 months. Uh, and they've done it. Lek Positive won the Champions League. Congratulations, Tardis. 
Congratulations. It's a Casemiro. It is a Casemiro region. With that potential and that tackling, you know how good that guy's going to be at taking the ball off people by the time he fully develops? It's really going to be terrifying. Like how good he is at tackling the ball off people. Uh, Yahya Azungur he is not bad enough that we have to ignore him, which is good. Alexi Castillo, perpetually declining contracts at other clubs. I think Porto's trying to move him as well, but he just turns down every contract he's ever been offered. Whoop! There he is. And uh, he doesn't want a lot of money, which we knew was coming, but is also awesome. I would like to remove both of these. I would like to pay him what would honestly be a more fair wage and put him under contract for five years. Uh, and then I would like to add any relegation release clause and then add an optional contract extension for two more years. Uh, but we will pay him good money. That scares me. <sighs> okay. I wanted to make sure we at least got it out to 20 to 30, uh, 2034. We might have gone for a little too much there, chat. Might have gone for a little too much. But that's a second good signing. Yuri Alberto, we're, we're building a little Brazilian contingent now, which is good because adaptability is often a main concern for Brazilian players coming over. Manchester United versus Liverpool games 100% getting canceled. Now, it might be delayed, but how long should it take a team from a 6th to 10th ranked European league to win the Champions League? It depends, like, how good the team is that you're starting with, right? If you're starting with Ajax, you can win the Champions League as fast as Clates won it, right? But if you're starting with Florensdorfer, for example, right? You start in the set, and then you got to build your way up to being at that level that Ajax and Salzburg and those types of teams are at, which I believe we're here. We're there. I think last year we really hit that spot where we just dominated the league and everybody was like, oh, okay. It's just the way it's going to happen now. Paolo and Enrique has already got a future transfer agreed to us. I totally forgot about that. It's getting disgusting, chat. It's getting gross. I'm making deals that I don't remember. I am making deals for players I do not remember. We're just, we're, we're, oh, we're, we're too good. Novolo, thank you for the 28. <laughs> the 28 months for Novolo. My craziness level, how crazy am I save is it the DR uh, Congo won the 2026 World Cup? I love when that stuff happens, to be honest with you. I always think that sort of stuff's really cool. Like the United States in FM18, the US won the 2022 World Cup. In, in my save, it did. It just happens. The one in a hundred is happening somewhere, or in the case of the US winning, uh, less than one in a hundred. How did Vikings send messages? By Norse code. I didn't laugh. It was terrible. I didn't laugh. Mexico won the World Cup in my save? Well, that's not possible. They don't get out of the round of 16. Everybody knows that. United States, you know, the United States makes some runs. Hey, hey, contact center girl with the five gifted subs, five gifted subs. Thank you for the five gifted and uh, welcome to the hammers. Who got it? El Melo, Aardvark, Duke, Celestial, Forsaker. Welcome Francis. Thank you for the 20. The big two zero, let's go. The thing is ready. Link in your DMs. You guys excited? You guys excited for the thing that I all has prepared? The mystery surprise on today's stream? The super special, spectacular mystery, super special surprise mystery? It's the official name. It's really hard to fit on the t-shirts, but... The super special mystery surprise, mystery special surprise? Pause champing it up. I think that means we're ready to have a look. Perhaps. 
Once I finish these scouting reports, we'll be there. We'll be there. No, Dino in gold drought. Isn't this the guy that doesn't want to play for me? What a dweeb. What a dweeb. Hey! Fenton. Thank you for the five gifted subs. 751 career gifted for Fenton, one of the all-time gift leaders on the channel. Cobb, Mitch, your boy, Jelboo, Stefan, and Rick. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Big up to Fenton the lad for getting five more people to bacon so that they can throw those emotes around in the chat. Okay. Let me pull it up. Now we used to do a, we used to do something. We used to do something that we actually have not done in a while. We have not done in a while. And I'm going to give you guys like 30 minutes to do this. We haven't even done it this year. We haven't done it with Florensdorfer at all, but we used to do it and it's very fun. And that is the official who are your top three favorite Dorfers players poll? There you go. That's right. We are doing for the, uh, we were reminded recently that we used to do this every year. We would do this every year with Oriental Dragon and we would figure out, you know, and this is where we really discovered that every single player in the first team squad would have somebody who actually liked them, right? This is current. This is something we did last year and we were recently reminded of it. And we're like, shoot, let's bring it back. We used to do it every year. You know, in the game, there's like fans player of the season. Well, we do it at the beginning after the transfer window. Who are your favorite players on the squad? And the way it works, everybody in the first team squad is here. Even Joe Hodge is here. Loaned out players do not count. They have to be present at the first team squad, uh, registered for the league at the start of the season. And all of these players are, they are available and they are available on this list as well. So if they're loaned out, they don't count. Mark Aaron Wolf is included in that because that list would be much longer. So the way you do this is you pick your favorite player for, I, I'm just gonna like, I'm doing it randomly. Your second favorite player and your third favorite player. And then you click submit. That is it. The form is right there. And we want to hear from all of you who your favorite players are. I will be filling it out. You will not see my answers. I will tell you my answers later. Make sure to only select one per each column. You heathens. Love you. Do, 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 do. And of course, after we get the answers from all of you guys, uh, after we get the answers from all of you guys, we will crunch the numbers and there will be a beautiful like graph and we'll be able to see, you know, who, who everybody's favorite player is, which players aren't getting a lot of love, which players get a surprisingly large amount of love from the, from the fan base. Your overall favorite Dorfer, your overall second favorite Dorfer, and your overall third favorite Dorfer on the squad this season. I know, rest in peace to Sami Pak, who would have had a really good run at this. All right, I am done. Mine is submitted. My response has been recorded. Make sure you submit as well your favorite Dorfers. We would like to show, we will show you it later on stream today, I believe. Uh, your favorite Dorfers this season. New Columbia star, thanks Wagner Mancini. Well, Enriquez, you know, all I did was scout you for a couple of years, bring you to Europe and give you an opportunity. Really did nothing, did I? I really did nothing. 
but I'm happy he's broken into the Columbia national team. It was definitely just a matter of time. Yong Boom Suk. I do believe you are good enough to play for us. Where did Pablo Rodriguez, the captain, go after his contract expired? That's actually a very interesting question. We're in October in game. Yuri Alberto's agreed to the transfer. Uh, Hervé is still crushing with the French under 21 national team. Maybe eventually he can get into the senior team. I wonder if Given's gotten into the team as well. Like, I mean, whoa. I just asked myself here. I hear Hold on. <clears throat> I just asked myself if Given Marquez had finally been called up to his national team after we sold him for seventy million dollars, because I remember us arguing that he should be called up to his national team. Of course, Given Marquez national team is. Brazil, who just hired a new head coach, who is me. So, I can probably answer that one without any help. Um, yeah. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, all. <laughs> Peace and love to all of you. Thank you. That Serbian guy looks pretty good. <laughs> Yo. That Serbian guy does look pretty good. So yeah, we forgot what national team we were coaching just for a second, but I actually don't know where Pablo went. I don't, he didn't have an offer before he left. Uh, wrong Pablo. Oh my, he's still a free agent. He's attracting interest from Zurich, Hartberg, and Pardubis. But he has not signed a deal. Our all-time league record goal scorer has still not signed a contract to play somewhere else. Maybe just taking six months off. That's what he's doing. He's taking six months off. He's all right. He's fine. How's Kevin already back? Columbia just played one game and they're like, oh, I'm out. Trujillo's getting better, which we love to see. Torreira didn't have over a 7.5, so drop it. Rest of the first team, though, has national team duty, which is pretty wild. Fortunately, it looks like we're going to get a couple of days for, for most guys to be back and rest. Rest up a little bit. Why is he Brazil's head coach? Because we got fired by Austria, obviously. We got fired for only making the round of 32 at the World Cup. Yuri Alberto has signed a deal. 7.75 million for... A very high potential 18-year-old in Brazil. We confirm the potential and we make our move. And that is how we do it. Signing for the reserves now. Usually they wouldn't want to sign a contract. And I, he is only 28. I mean, he's technically got a couple of good years left. I don't want to do that. Uh, closing the poll at 1.30 according to the exclamation point time command. That is 21 minutes from now. So... There will be timely reminders in the chat, but pick your favorite Floridsdorfer players on the form. You have 21 minutes if you want to be included in the results, if you want your favorite players on Floridsdorfer to be included and enshrined in the yearly fan poll of who your favorite players are at Floridsdorfer AC. Sufjan Diop of Monaco. I will never not like Sufian Diop of Monaco. Pleased to see Perotto in pressing for Argentina? I am. I hope that his ability to withstand pressure slowly increases. So imagine having match practice training with no match that week. That, that sentence scares me on multiple levels. <sighs> I feel like you don't understand what match practice is. You could do a separate poll for the YouTube viewer base. That's actually a very interesting idea. 
and we can contrast the two results. I like the way you're thinking. Prismac, I do. Quick question. I've been playing FM for ages, but I've always wondered what the best way to know how much your player can still improve. Is it coaching estimates or stars? Uh, coaching estimates, I would generally ignore. They're usually foolish. Uh, stars is the best guide that you have, but really the best guide is over time watching a player improve or not improve, right? Do you have a guy that's five stars, but he spends a year and a half on your team and he hasn't gotten any better Then something about the situation is not aiding that player or they're a bit of an, they're, they're an illusionist, right? Or they are one of those players that it's just not going to happen for them. That potential is an illusion and they're not going to reach it. And that is the way that it can go down. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is a very popular day a year ago, apparently. Josier plays against us for Ajax regularly, uh, and he's so highly rated because he plays for Ajax. He's not actually that amazing. Pavel Ilko. He is not a homegrown player for us, if I remember correctly, but he has landed with Stuttgart and is hopefully playing. He's played two matches. Just like he always dreamed of, I'm sure. Fon Vuong, 23 years old. The Frenchman's good. Kanya Fujimoto. That is another year for you, Kanya. Albi Ismaili, 23 years old. He's got freaking 40 caps. Okay, Albi. Axel Castillo. Oh, this is different Castillo than the other one. Well, that potential. It's got that Parado potential where most of the time he's not going to be improving, but then every once in a while he will just explode onto the scene. Uh, no, Roberto. Preoccupanu. It's only 20. He is definitely likely to become a better player. Vote in the poll for your favorite Dorfer. Thank you. Alejandro. Got the pace going on. Barcelona struggling to develop that guy. Happens to the best of us. Just kidding. I've only torpedoed a few people's careers. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just a few. Hey, Wolf. Just, he's got five caps for Germany. He just dropped a clean sheet against Sweden in the Nations League. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful backup goalkeeper we have that's out on loan. Honestly, if, if we're able to keep you, Bay, we could just loan... We could just loan him until he's like 25. And he just lives his whole career as a loan player from Floridsdorf for AC. And then maybe we sell him for like really good money, but... Hi, yeah, I'm willing to give you star player. Yes, 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 yes. I am willing to give you star player. Season landmark goal bonuses are fine. And that gives us an extra year of contract, which is incredibly valuable. Yes. That gives us an extra year on Xander's contract. We aren't going to push it too much there. The Vletchen, uh, it's possible to lower him from star player to him. No, it's not. But that's all right, because Roman is absolutely part of the fabric and future of this club. And we do stand Roman to Vletchen. Richardson's development has been hampered by his injury. Eric Elek seems to be comfortable. He's also gotten a few matches to play in, and he might just get another one. Parado and Pospisil have emerged as important players. That is huge for us. We lack leadership. Arling, are you getting better? Not really. Schultz? Yes, that's good. The boy, Andrew. The only way you get into the first team is if you do something. That gives us... Good. Four players on the influential player list. Devletchen, Parado, Pospisil, Bube, Henneman, the captain, and Dane are the highly influential players with team leader Owen Vanderhorst. Yes, of course we're looking to extend Xander Henneman's contract. Why on earth would we not? Where do I download Zealand training? Oh, I got you. It's all over the place. It's uh, We made a whole training series. I would just recommend watching the final video, which is the complete guide to training. Uh, that's going to basically bring all the other videos together, tell you where to look, uh, and link everything for you to uh, for you to use. Ibrahim Ba. 
an attacking midfielder that also plays center back. This Red Star's superstar forward there. Lucheril Gear Trita. All right, we need at least one Wonder Kid in this scouting report. I haven't heard the name Inzo Baranishea in a while, but he is actually still very good and he is cheap. Julio Cesar. Tukarski, Nordi Mukiele. Can help their lack of depth at center back. Well, speak for yourself, okay? Suspicious lack of Wonder Kids so far. Just like to point that out. So, guys, we already know about. There we go. Tommy U. Garcia. He's not amazing, but we got one. Somebody found somebody to put on their report. Ooh. An Austrian. We have had such terrible luck signing and developing Austrian forwards that that does give me some pause, but a talented young Austrian nonetheless. Make sure to vote in the poll! Make sure to vote in the poll! Is this FIFA? Do I look 12? Bubay already is... Uh, Bubay's not signed, but after the Henneman thing, we should check Pospicial and Bubay to see if they have dropped their release clause requirements. Uh, Pospicial has not dropped his release clause requirements. Bubay, uh, he has. I can't believe that didn't work. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. I could not will it into existence. You're improving. What do you mean you're unhappy? You're getting better. We got such a ridiculous run of improvement out of Richardson right into him getting hurt. And that always just makes me so sad. Just stifled him a little bit right as he was getting his sea legs. He was chopped down at the knees. Cap, thank you for the 14 months. Big Deck, thank you so much for the three months. Let's get that poll. Absolutely. You have 12 minutes left to fill out the favorite player poll. Can we refund Narrow Diamond for trying to get Jamieson's uh, stuff reviewed? We do have a player lookup for James Trafford. James Trafford's a goalkeeper at Inter Miami now. He's had a weird career. Uh, started at City, loaned to Accrington Stanley in League One, played regularly. Then City, then Everton bottom and loaned him to AFC Wimbledon in League One. And then he did a loan to Wapowell in Cyprus because. Uh, then went back to Everton, didn't play. Chelsea got him in a player exchange where he sat and did not play a single senior game for four years before Enter Miami has brought him in at the age of 28. Uh, and now he, let's see, it's October. When did he move? It would have been uh, in the summer. He's only played two games, which is not a lot so I believe he's inter Miami's backup but at least he's getting on the field I was fascinated by those guys like well he was at Chelsea for four years and uh, he just didn't play hey nice win for Israel 5-1 over Montenegro of Eve Talius leading the way uh, in your video where things you should ignore do you think the arrows and the player attributes should be included no I don't think you should ignore them. I certainly don't. I, I think when it comes to long-term player development, uh, you should not react super short-term to like one arrow going down sort of thing. You need to go to the development uh, training tab to really get a full picture of how that player's development has gone because you could have missed a week or two where they were getting better, you know. But the arrows are not something that you should just basically ignore completely. They are something that is potentially misleading maybe that's just a different video you know juan ignacio evangelisti
Wouldn't have guessed uh, Argentinian national team there. Angel Gonzalez is a no. Valentin Antov is a very positive influence in the locker room, but he's getting paid a bucket of money, and we're not we're not making that move. Nicholas Bond. Unfortunately, that five-star potential is no longer here for old Nicholas. Oh my goodness, we actually finished scouting Akba to Fifi. And we finally know that he is not worth it. And unfortunately, we'll probably stay at the Plastic Club Pyramids until the future. Into the future, not back to the future, into the future. Holger Koch. There he is, Sirius Chiz. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate the prime. Any good Montenegro players in your save? Based off that 5-1 loss to Israel, I would say no. We'll be ready. Bouncing back for the international break. I mean, we're going to rotate the team. We've got Bayern at home in a couple of days. Uh, but we absolutely want to pick up three points. And SV Rid is a mid-table team. They're certainly not a bad team in this league. You got to be ready for them. And we will be. Ferguson, thank you for the nine months. I appreciate it. Oh, we haven't... Come on. Somebody scout Vukajin Stepanovich, please. Can we finish a report? Once. You have eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes to vote in the poll, chat. Eight minutes. Your favorite Florensdorfer player. Results to be revealed soon after. We'll actually do, uh, we'll do like a top 10 reveal. And we'll do like a bottom 10 reveal and that'll be basically everybody. Sir Vanderplaz, this is exactly what I want to see from Sir Vanderplaz. He's got all the potential in the world and he is going to be great. Just going to take him a while to get there and so we need to start making some progress. Owen Vanderhorst still adding to his physical gifts. This man used to be so slow that it caused me physical discomfort to watch him run. Now he's really turning a corner. That's what it's all about. United are winning today and everyone's going to be shocked. I mean, I would be shocked if United won today. I would obviously be far from the only one because it's freaking United. All about You got to give yourself that hope, though. Why even show up if you don't have a hope to win? Apparently, Harry Maguire's not going to be in the team. I don't think the swap deal for Pulisic's going to happen. I do think he'd be a starter at United, but... I don't want him to go there. Just, you know, I want him to be feeling confident going into the World Cup. I forgot to have legend with that. It's all right. We've got Nelson Parado. Wait. Oh, well, that's all right. For my FPL to be safe, I need Liverpool to win. My, F my FPL is actually pretty good this week. I had some bold starts that ended up paying off. I had some bull. I had Aronson. I had Callum Wilson against City, which ended up working out. So, you know, we, roll, we rolled the dice. We lived dangerously, and we were rewarded for our rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Yield is into the middle. And uh, Richardson is back. Welcome back to the team. And Eric Elek is there. Yep, full rotation. And everybody but Jan Benno, I think. That's nah, going to be uh, Kevin Enriquez for Owen Vander, dang it. And then we need our defensive subs, Bianca Pospisil and... Not Benet, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, okay. Lucas Torreira. Instead, we'll take every bit of rest we can afford. Honestly, we'd take Jaime Contreras. This poor guy trying to bounce back from his six-month injury he suffered on loan. He's apparently back to just being able to do rehab now. It's good.
Gotta get smarter, Stefano. We've gotta get smarter. All right. You're cutting in now and no. And we don't really have anybody to aim for it except for Noah and Bamba, so we'll just throw that there. And Noah. The in swinging option. Boy, this, our second team is so much taller than our first team. Kind of like to an embarrassing extent, our second team is so much taller. You got you got like second team against first team scrimmages and practice, and the second team's just looking down at the first team. Oh, they recommend Talius as the captain. Now Parado, it, it's Parado. Parado is actually an influential player uh, in the locker room, apparently. <sighs> Stick to the plan. Be patient. We'll be fine. It's a nasty bit of weather as we go to SB Reed in the snow in October. Three days before. Liverpool just got 81% of the vote to win the game, Chad. Speaking of voting, three minutes left to vote in the poll for your favorite player. Do that now if you haven't already. Make sure you're represented. Make sure your favorite player is not left out of their vote. Eighty-one percent think Liverpool is going to win, and I am amongst that eighty-one percent. I'm amongst it. Perotto, Shava Abradovich, who's getting an unforeseen large amount of playing time as he tries to develop himself. We actually did a really good job, I think, with uh, the pruning of our team. The right guys are on loan, and oh goodness. We're giving opportunities to guy like, guys like Abradovich and Eric Elek that need those opportunities to, to aid their development. And Richardson and Yield is who continues to need good first team playing time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yay, good keeping, good keeping. Good goal keeping. We are not, however, overwhelmingly talented compared to our opposition today. Wide. Quintero. Wandering around. Quintero. Richardson. Ooh. Oh, we're bringing it down. Oh, no shot. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure, Vanderplas from... Serious distance. Attaboy, Parado. Oh, look at Eric Elek actually passing the ball. Didn't even know he had that in him. Yield is. Ooh, ooh. Very difficult pass that he did. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a this is one of those sleepy games. Away to SV Reed, backups all there. We've got a home match with Bayern Munich in three days. Got to make sure you pick up wins here. The league is quite oh the league the like the league is close right now. Yield is is balling though. He has had a very good start to this game. Diego Quintero now taking advantage of an opportunity. Oh, way to do it. Way to go it. Way to do it. In-game sound is not muted. It is not working. And there is a difference, Gallagher. That is all. 
I I've never seen a play that looked like that in FM. Yield is with a loft of ball. Keeper misreads it. Talius, like, I get it's kind of a difficult skill, right? Skipping off the icy ground. Catch it on the volley to just direct it in. And he sends it across the face of the goal and out on the far side of the goal. <sighs> the network game's actually tomorrow. We're playing the network game tomorrow. Normal network game time, 2 p.m., 7 p.m. Oh, Quintero. So, something to look forward to. I do believe we will be playing one more season of the network game, but it will be the final stream of this season of the network game. Which is good. And I, me, me and my functional computer will be great. Don't like what I just saw from this team. I want us to be winning. That's the long and the short of it. We're going to go put a lot of pressure on them. We're going to get after them. We're going to force them off the ball and force them to make stupid mistakes that we will capitalize on. Richardson has re-aggravated his injury, which is unfortunate. But we will see if he can get through 60 minutes before we take him off. Stefan Verhoeven. Verhoeven. Dang you, Stefan! We need Quintero or Verhoeven to just actually be good today. One of the two has to, has to be good. They both fit our system so well. This players, this men. That was a really good touch. That was a very good one too. And oh yes. They're better. Christian, they're better have been someone in the way. Yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, I think if it's on target, it's blocked. I actually, yeah, like... If it's on target, it's blocked. I get it. See? You know, make sure you check the angles before you get too mad. They had it covered. Nice, Noah. He's the aerial guy for us. When this team is out there, Noah Mbamba is like the aerially dominant player. That was pretty poor. That was pretty poor. We did not get sorted out in time. Set piece recovery was less than ideal. Uh, Verhoeven on a 6.4 even has a yellow for his trouble running around up top. It's good. Nice. Nice, Noah. This is good play. This is very good play. It's yieldy. Oh, what a run, what a finish. Christian Yildiz, the homegrown talent, doing it for the Dorfers. <sighs> he is the goal scorer, not just a playmaker. I see, he sees the haters. Yildiz, oh, I was optimistic. Now let's get him off. For uh, Lucas Herrera, please. Oh, he's off. He's totally off. No shot. He's definitely offside. That stinks, though. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> Dang. Could have just put this away with a stupid goalkeeper error, but Quintero was going to press and it dragged him offside. Honestly, it's probably what forced the bad ball, though. So you got to live with it. All right, final 20 minutes. Any other substitutions that maybe we could make? Parado is dragging a little bit, but we don't exactly have a right back sub available. I always wanted to try Noah and Bomba out there, but I don't think that's something that we could do. And uh, I think right now we just stick with the same team we got on the field. I want to make sure we are fit for Bayern Munich at home. And uh, just, we, we came here to battle, pick up three points. Don't care about style points in the snow. Uh, with the backups on the field, it's just gotten out the result. And a second goal would make that a lot more comfortable. Yield is looking very on it today. Oh, so our first time ball was on. We were, we were there. Ref! 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 Maybe. 
Yep. Yeah, baby! Send him off. Get him off the field. Get him off the field. There's been a red card, but for who, Chris Kamara? That dude. I didn't even see his name. It doesn't matter. He's gone. Some dude. Out of there. See you later. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know. I don't know who got sent off, but I know they did. Back to you. Sure. Are you, are you playmaking right now, Sierra Vanderplay? Oh, yeah, the drag back is on. <sighs> Shot was not a bad one from Aviv. Terrera, Sierra Vanderplaz, Eric Alec, Terrera, Parado. Parado. Aviv! How long have they had Conde as their keeper? He, uh, Emil Conde is in the Austrian pool. He's like the fourth keeper. I had to almost call him up every time. Haslar, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Oh my goodness. He's on. And that is a sauce. Saucy goal. Oh. Why no game sound? It's just glitched out today. I don't know what to tell you. I was doing some football manager stuff last night. And it was glitched out too. Uh, and it's glitched out today. Great ball by Aviv Talius. Quintero on the score sheet, which, you know, he needed that. Kind of get him back into the flow of the team. Just a little chip shot ball into Quintero. Nothing they could do. Clean as you like. And that should do it. Oh, 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 yield is, oh, Talius, oh, wow, okay. Chaos reigns supreme. I wouldn't verify game files ever on Football Manager because I think you, uh, you might reset all of your different graphics work. If you do, I would remove the config file from the new game manager for sure and, like, move your graphics stuff so that you can just pop it back in. That wouldn't, yeah, that would, uh, I've never done it on Football Manager, but I wouldn't because I think it might just reset that file. Thoughts on Pedro Neto to Arsenal? Neto's a lot better in real life than he is in Football Manager. I think it's a good pickup for Arsenal. Arsenal continuing to build. They're continuing to build. All right, time for Bayern at home. Bayern Munich at home, Champions League. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna restart the game just to see if we can get the audio for a Champions League match. It's so much more important. Hey, we beat Bayern in the Champions League knockouts three years ago. That was the our announcement that we were legit. That we were absolutely legitness. How have like why do we keep having to play matches and Salzburg doesn't? That's my question to you. Great points ahead, but they have two matches in hand. Damaged heel is a completely different injury. How much she enjoy Parado's performance? He lifted the rest of the team. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a good, freaking good player. So. Let's, uh, let's reload. So I know it just saved, but we'll save it up again on the way out the door and then get going. I sent you the poll results in the DM. Awesome. I'm not optimistic about this working, but like it could could work. Because obviously it was an issue I was having yesterday too. Whoa! Hello, Mr. Dorfer. Hi, Summers. Thanks Thank for the five. Watch a football game two weekends ago to watch my team Livingston play. Sadly, Rocky Bushiri was not playing in that game. That must be we we won. <laughs> hey, don't disrespect Rocky Bashiri like that. He was a big time player. Adrian Edo's better than Saka. I think they're just kind of different, right? I think Bakayo Saka is more of a, he's more of a midfield winger, right? And I've always thought that. I, I, I think that he is not a pure attacking. I think Neto is a pure attacking player, so. 
If you sent players on leadership courses, I would do it only in very rare circumstances where you know a guy's going to be on your team for a long time. I'm talking five, six year contract and they're not a very good leader and they should be a, and they should be a good leader. That that's the only instance that I would I would send them on the courses, and I'm assuming they're in the game because they have some effectiveness. I've never really tried it. Oh, he wasn't playing against us, which is why we won. Oh, I misheard. Okay, that's awesome. Well, congrats on the win, first of all, to your team. To Livingston in Scotland. Neto is a striker. He plays across the front three, but he, I mean, I managed Wolves on this FM. He's a wide guy. At least football manager has him down as being a wide guy. And when I've watched him play in real life, he's been a wide guy. Inside forward, yes, but. Do, 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 do. All right, I wonder if it's gonna work. We do have the results from the poll for your favorite Floridsdorfer players this season. And we're gonna go check that out now. I love chat. He plays on the right. He plays more on the left, honestly. Fair enough. As a Wolves fan, can confirm. Wide guy, thank you. We like to be right when we can. Ruan, just vibing. He's pretty good. It's also 31 years old, so. Have that going for us. Let me let me pull it up. Let me pull up the results of the poll. You can see my authentic reaction. All right, are you ready? Your favorite. Floridsdorfer players. Uh, there are 27 players. 27 players on the first team roster for Floridsdorfer AC. The least favorite player with a grand score of two. How many, how many people voted in this? It looks like somewhere, but like 365, 365 people voted for their favorite Florence Dorfer player. You get one point. You get one point if you finish in third in someone's. You get two points if you finish second, and you get three points if you are somebody's favorite player. If you finish first. That is how this works. So at a grand total of two points, the least favorite player is. That means everybody at least got, you know, two votes because this was two third place votes for this player. And this is the only player that didn't even get a second place vote for their favorite player. 18 year old center back, Sava Obradovic. Sava Obradovic is your least favorite player. It, like, I don't know what Sava did to you. He has five-star potential, but Sava Obradovic is the least favorite. There's not a lot of Swiss people here. Our backup center back, Sava Obradovic. A man that we believe has a very bright future. Never seen this. The dude literally started the last game. He literally started in the last game. He hasn't really done anything. Yeah, it's fair. 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 Okay. Number two. Your second least favorite. Or wait. Your second least favorite player. We'll do a we'll, we'll do a top five least favorite players. And then we'll do the uh the, the, the top ten favorite players. Okay. Second least favorite player. Jaime Contreras. 
but he was out on loan and he, we brought we brought him back from loan for an injury. He finished with four points. Uh, he was somebody's second favorite player and two people's third favorite player. Uh, the your third least favorite player is Jan Benno, the backup goalkeeper. Two people had him as their second favorite player on Florensdorfer because Jaime, you know Jaime. Let me, I'll go bring him up. He, he's only here because he was on loan. He was on loan and he got hurt. We loaned him out last year to Estoril. Then we loaned him to Estoril again and he got hurt in the first match of the season. He like broke his hip. Uh, so we brought him back to to bring him back to health and then we will loan him out again in January. Uh, that was the point. Jan Benno, of course, the backup goalkeeper. Uh, your fourth least favorite player who got just six points, but he's, he is somebody's favorite player. Unlike Jan Benno and Jaime Contreras and Sava Brodovic, somebody's favorite player on the team is in 26th place. Or wait, sorry, 23rd place on the squad. Nelson Parado got a first place, second place, and third place vote. But Argentinian international Nelson Parado is the 23rd favorite player on the team. Who that? He just started the last game. But yeah. And then the fifth least favorite player. This probably is not a surprise. But a very respectable six people consider him their third favorite player. Two people consider him their second favorite player. He is the highest ranked player that does not have someone who considers them their favorite. And that is Stefan Verhoeven, the striker, finished with 10 points in the voting. Got a total of eight votes. Stefan Verhoeven. James, thank you so much for the prime. Yeah, so it's all new guys, all newer guys, right? Benno's been around for a couple of years, but he's been getting loaned out every year because he's a high potential young keeper. Uh, Bradovich was loaned out last year. Contreras was loaned out last year. Uh, Parado and Verhoeven are new signings. Yeah, Parado will turn the opinions around. I believe he will, but now it is time for your top 10 Florensdorfer players, according to the fan poll thing. Okay. At number 10, he's big, he's broad, and he got 28 votes, including seven first place votes with a total score of 54. It's the new striker, Max Hervé. Hervé finished 10th. So you guys are, you know, people saying that Hervé is a bust. People already like Max Hervé. He's the 10th favorite player on the team. He's seven people's favorite player. All right, and he's, uh, yeah, he got 12 second place votes, nine third place votes. He actually had less total votes than the person below him, but a lot more people have Hervé as their favorite. The ninth favorite player at Florensdorfer. With seven first place votes, 15 second place votes, and 12 third place votes for a grand score of 63. Roman! Of legend. Roman Devlechen is number nine, the ninth favorite player on the team. Our very high potential, bright light of the future at right back. Roman Devlechen is the ninth favorite player on the team. There are some surprising answers, obviously, in this team. We continue. The eighth best. Oh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> The eighth favorite player on the team with a massive 11, 11 first place votes, 11 first place votes, 12 second place and 20 third place votes with a total of 77 points. Jan Trujillo. Not going to lie, a little surprised. Jan Trujillo, the Colombian 
uh, midfielder is number eight on the favorite players on the team. Obviously, he's got a very bright future. He's a bright part of the squad. He's never caused problems. He makes plays. He do be pretty good, exactly. Uh, he is number eight. But now, it's time for number seven. The seventh most popular player on the team received 49 total votes. With six first place votes, but 19 second place votes and 24 third place votes for a grand total of 80 points. He is not many people's favorite, but he is beloved by many. The seventh most popular player on Florensdorfer is Noah in I got Noah Mbaba. He is the seventh most popular player on the team. Is Noah Mbamba. The real player, the center back and defensive midfielder that gets a really good run in the team. You just scared my dog? Yeah, he's sturdy. He's sturdy, he's reliable, and is apparently beloved. Number six. Nine first place votes for this lad. 18 second and 21 third with a total of 48 votes, which is one less than Noah Mbamba, but votes of more value than Noah Mbamba. It's Max Dane. Max Dane. So some of the new guys you guys love. Max Dane's the sixth most popular player on the team. Max Dane is the sixth most popular player on the team already. I guess that's what happens when you make a big signing. There is a very clear top four. There is a very clear top three. There is a very clear top two. I will make that obvious. But the top five is not clear. The person in, in, in fifth has one more point than Max Dane. Six first place votes, 25 second, 17 third place votes for a total of 85 points. A total of 85 points. It's Jakob Pospich. I might be able to do a. Here, I just figured out a way to do this. Let's do this. Hold on. There, now you can see it. I don't know why I didn't figure this out earlier. Oop. But now you can see it. Now all you have to do is scroll up. So Jakob Pospisil finishing fifth. He got less first place votes, but a lot of people like him as their second favorite player. Jakob Pospisil, the fifth best player on the team. Who do we think? This is first place votes to second. This is third place. This is total votes and total points right here. Why are you managing Brazil? Because Dremen, thank you so much for the two months. <sighs> Who do you think is for? I already know, obviously. I already know. It's Ali! Bube! I don't know why. Everybody's second favorite player is Ali Bube. 35 second place votes. Or, sorry, third place. I can't read. He's everybody's third favorite player is Ali Bube. France's number one goalkeeper. It's perfect. But he's nothing compared to the top three because third... You know him. You love him, obviously, more than everybody else we've seen so far. He's a homegrown beauty, and his name is Christian Yildiz.
Christian Yildiz is 17 people's favorite player, 44 seconds and 49 thirds. A stupid high score of 188, nearly, nearly double of Ali Bube in fourth. A clear top three. Christian Yildiz, the homegrown beauty, who's made it all the way to the Austrian national team and hung around well longer than he should have. In second. And this, this is somebody that honestly I was surprised was so beloved. They are the club captain now. It's Xander! Like, I know he's the club captain, but he just became the club captain and he'd been kicking up a fuss and he's polarizing in front of the goal. And it's Xander Henneman with 40 first place votes, 82 second place votes, and 54 third place votes. Got 176 votes and over 300 on the score. Over 300 on the score. Yeah, in, in first place is going to shock you. It's almost like there's been a guy who's been at our club for seven years, who is American, who is a not only a regular presence, but uh, is an, a constant inspiration with his goals and his passes. It's, it, is, it is a big number. It's a huge number. He's the king. It's not even close. He has over 225 first place votes. Over 50% of the people that voted consider him their favorite player. Owen Vanderhorst is he's as beloved as any player we've ever had in a save relative to the rest of the team. He is like so far and away the guy that everybody loves. All right, show the pie chart. Right, there is a uh, there is a fancy pie chart here. If you're wondering uh, where other players were, Vanderplaz actually got 32 votes, uh, but only one first place vote, so he got stuck down here. Kevin Quintero, Eric Ellick uh, did pretty well. Lucas Torreira did pretty well. Uh, Josh Richardson, Stefano de Este, Benegas, Mohamed Portamazebi getting some love. Joe Hodge getting some love. And Aviv Talias is actually the closest one to the drop. Uh, that's the pie chart. And as you can see on the graph here, Owen Vanderhorst is, oh goodness, uh, Owen Vanderhorst is like 37% of the total graph. Xander's 15. You add them both together and they're more than half of the entire pie chart. Um, yeah, that's the uh, Eric Alec is the last one that gets his name on the, uh, on the list there. But I think Vanderhorst is the fan's favorite player this season. My head is the pie. Exactly. I've been training for this moment. Give the guy a statue. He, uh, what, what's he's in? Get, oh, Jefferson Castillo's not getting the agreed playing time. Has he played? Is this just one of... Oh, yeah, he has not played at all. Wow, that is so unbelievably annoying. What a waste of six months for Jefferson Castillo. And I will... He, I like how the guy looks me... He has not actually touched the field yet. And that guy just looked me dead in my eye sockets and said, I feel like he's playing enough. At least come to me and say you don't think he's good enough to play because he has not touched the field. And it is the middle of October. I did not send him to France to train. We have better train. We have better training facilities than you. If I wanted him to sit there and train, I would have kept him here. Do you understand the words that I am spreckenzying to you? 
I do hope you do. King Jimmy, thanks for the 18 months. A year and a half. Group stage about to reach halfway point. I'm going to do as well as possible and see where that takes us. Now revealing my plans for the match. Uh, they come into this match on a resounding victory. We have to be prepared for a tough match. They're obviously a very good team. Uh, I'm concerned by Casillas' lack of playing time. It's far, it's far from ideal and certainly something we have to consider acting upon if it lasts much longer. Uh, Aegon Lush is doing well at Nuremberg, though. That's good. Aegon Lucia going up against the likes of Byron. Maybe we can get him in for a scouting debrief or something. <sighs> if Given was here, he would have won this. Yeah, I mean, I know there are players like... I, I think the most surprising one to me was Mohamed Portamazebi and Eric Elek. I didn't know that either of those guys had cultivated a, uh, a group of fans. Portamazebi, was, uh, he's almost been moved from the team a couple of times. But Iranian international doing big things, doing his best. Modo the up. Uh, no. Uh, no. Angelov. He went to PSG. That's so unfortunate. Mateus. Andres Samudio is so, so zeroed in yes El Suarez Pessoa hates big matches no thank you don't have a don't have a thing for guys that don't like big matches I like big matches and I cannot lie so all right Gabby Barbosa scored against his international coach that was fun But yeah, Owen Vanderhorst is very clearly a favorite. His ability to, to be on the team, to help the team, to captain the team. Perpetually appreciated by the Florence Dorfer fan base, as we see. Guillaume Ray. Talented regen that's made his way to the maybes list. Liverpool and Dinamo Kiev drew. Real Madrid and Monaco drew. Du Bois Chevalier continues to play well as... Our U19s just beat Bayern's U19s 4-1. to one. And we quick pick again. Uh, I suppose at least we have a full team this time for the bench. Okay. Deflection de Este Venegas, Pospicial, Bamba, Enriquez, Dane, Trujillo, Henneman, Hervé, yeah. We need more from Hinneman today. We freaking need more from Hinneman today. Oh, do you think we can keep track of Yusufa Mukoko? He's literally God. I do think we can win this game. We know how to play against these teams. They come in, they're better than us. We've got that locker room cohesion, and we have a tactic that if you do not play against it a lot, it is a very hard to defend. And that works to our advantage, and that is how we beat Bayern the last time we played them. All right, the audio is not reset after we uh, reset the game. That is fine. It is a massive match. At home against Bayern, who we knocked out three years ago from the Champions League. Let's get it. A big, famous European night at the Carl Yeast.
We have been, we have spent the last couple of years knocking out teams we had no business to knock out. We have gotten better every year. And to be perfectly honest at this point, the talent gap between us and them is not nearly as large as you would think. We have to make sure that we keep the pressure off of our team. We play with confidence. We are at home and we will always have better locker room atmosphere. And we will always tactically be in a great position to win. So let's win. Come on, baby. Oh, I don't like that throw at all, but Havertz collapsed, so it opened up just fine. The special, he's off. He's definitely off. Uh, it's good, good thing for him that he was offside because he absolutely shanked it. Oh, DS, stay. You're too tall to be doing that. Easy, easy, easy. Everybody breathe, everybody breathe. Lads, it's fired. Ain't nothing but a thing. Oob, you bay, please grab it. Oh, that was a good delivery. Thank goodness that fell to their winger. Mansoor is their right wing. He's quite the player, Bazente Mansoor. All right, little encourage. Good start. Forcing him into set piece stuff. Trujillo, that was nice. Hervé, oh, good hold up play. Okay. Now we're flowing around a little bit. Yes. Oh, Trujillo, dang it. Oh my goodness, it's on. He's definitely on. Hervé. Max Hervé! Oh, it was going in. It was going in. A really good defensive play by Vitek. We keep moving. We move. So that count as a shot. We technically don't have a shot in the game. That's fun. This is a good spot, though. This is a good spot. That was a nice passing combo that got us open last time. That was a sick passing combination. Bomba got out Fox there. Now it's Makoko. Oh my goodness, Benegas! Yeah! That 18 tackling, he said no, sir. He said, absolutely not. Oh, Mbamba can't give that up. That's the first time we've really been beaten there. Yeah, good spot. Good spot. Oh, Dane, do something. Mbamba. Out of boy Benegas. He looks really at it today, which is good. Oh, hit him in! Oh, mama. That would have been spectacular. I would have lost my mind. He hit that so freaking hard. Oh, Hervé. Hervé. Good, Trujillo. Oh, I like him cutting that. Oh, he was off. That was really close. That's a tough call. That's us. Oh, right before the half. Right before the half in front of the Yeezda. Dane. Oh, it's there! Speaking <laughs> Ramsdale, dude. Oi! Half time. Mm. Oi. <sighs> yeah, well, that's what Sander does. You've done well so far. I, I, I do think we've done well so far. I have faith in you specifically. I know what you can do, Max Dane. I know what you can do. 
And we know you, you are clutch. You scored the winning goal with 90 seconds left in the Vienna Derby. And we might just need you to make some spectacular creative play again for us. Nice, nice. Oh, not towards Henneman, though. We got to hit that towards Hervé. Henneman's not the aerial lad. But he can run with Alfonso. He literally can. This is Henneman defending Alfonso Davies. Oh, what is that? Dupe, we've got to end the threat there. That's fine, Trujillo. That really is actually <laughs> not a bad thing to do. Reset the whole defense. Get ready to receive... Uh, maybe a little Stefano de Este, perhaps? Ooh! Oh, run with him, lad. Good. Yeah, I, I know what? I am. Uh, I'm okay with that push, Roman. I am okay with that push. Just put his butt on the ground and we'll get back and we'll, uh, we'll take care of it from there. Dang it, that was on. Oh, what a recovery! What a recovery by Venegas! I don't know, I mean, Makoko, he, he just, he turned him. And then Deeste just pops the ball away from him from behind. We're, we're matching the world-class level right now. We are matching the world-class level. We know we have it in us. We just don't have the experience. Again, Xander Henneman defending Alfonso Davies. Don't, oh, goodness. Thank you, Bubay. Should be Enriquez, but he's getting pinched in by something. That should help him get out a little bit more. Good boy, Benegas. Uh, yo, don't let him walk there. Nice block. Good. Good. Yeah, deflection. He knows how to take the ball. Okay, sub, 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 sub. Substitution. Uh, Special's on a 6.3. That's not good. Uh, how about Nelson Parado? And then we got fullback on support. Parado's very good at uh, defensive things, and so that's that's my thought process there. And then I think we drop... Could drop Dane and just go Vanderhorst. Bamba is tired. Save the last two subs for 70. Then after 70, we're going to get him bomb off. We're going to do two different midfielders. Uh, all right, Bube. That works. What do we have? Noah. Devletchen. Henneman. Oh, the run! Dane. It's Max Dane. It was inches away from being the perfect shot for that situation. With the defense bearing down, he went for the power on the far side and he hit the crossbar. Oh, dang it. Okay. Um, Noah drops. Give me Vanderhorst. And we can take Henneman off for... No, I'm going to take Hervé and then just go with Stefan Verhoeven. We could go with Aviv, but uh, the midfield has generally been doing the right stuff right now. So 
Stefan Verhoeven gets the chance, uh, that pace, that holy trinity late, to give us something. I'm not making too many changes, though. So we uh, obviously can't give their space attacking individuals more opportunity. They just brought Vinicius Jr. off the freaking bench. Oh, what a spot. Great pass. Stefan Verhoeven cross it. Somebody freaking shoot the ball. That was off, was it not? Get rid of it. Dear God. Good pass. Good pass. Good touch. And yeah, we're fine. They're pressing really high. This is open. It is open behind them. Good pass. Max Dane. Max Dane. That was tough. Uh, they actually defended that really well. He's a right foot dominant player. And they funneled him towards his left foot and took away the passing lanes. There was no easy way to, to score or pass that for him. Trujillo. Oh, again, 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 Dane. Oh, it's Henneman. It's Xander. Oh. Oh, we're all over them, chat. We're all over them. Come on, Dieste. Good, good work. Make it count, make it count. Send the yeast into a frenzy. Trujillo, Dane. He's just been such a man. Oh my goodness, for all of it. Oh! A moment for glory, perhaps. Vanderhorst. Seven for Holman! my mind oh we played so freaking well oh Vanderhorst what a delivery Stefan Verhoeven caught it pretty well too oh all right Stefano hey, you want to you want to you want to be beloved Stefano you want to be a name that's echoed through the ages Stefano oh Vanderhorst is there. Maybe just a little time for something. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, Owen. D. Oh, dude. Miscommunication. Van, uh, hit him and went one way and Dane passed it the other. Oh. <sighs> we're there, we're there, we're there. Good. I mean... That's probably it, yeah. Nil-nil with Bayern, but we gave them absolutely everything they could handle there down the stretch. That was that's a bitter pill to swallow. We gave them everything they could handle. Uh, and, it, you know, big point. A big point for us. I think Ajax drew with Krasnodar, which might open the door for us, but... Ajax won it. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. They scored the 95th minute after a player got sent off. So they're getting the fortune, I see. It was unfortunate to come up against Aaron Ramsdale in that sort of form today. Yeah, a little bit. He could have totally chilled and let us score, but he just decided that wasn't going to happen. So, you know, we uh, we did what we did. We did what we could. I thought we played really well against, you know, one of the best teams in the world. And we held our own yet again. Aaron Ramsdale's a weird name for a crossbar, yikes. Four-year deal worth $11 million for Xander Henneman. He has signed, and we will uh, we'll use that opportunity to remind ourselves to take a look at the other stuff going on, which would be trying to get rid of release clauses for Pospecial and Ali Bubay.
which are both still there. Those are the two contracts we would love to extend at this point. Uh, fortunately, Xander's went away. Hopefully, whatever else or whatever happened in order for that to occur will happen with Pospecial and with Bube at some point here in the future. As we would love to extend their contracts, ideally before we get to the January window. That'd be nice. So, Wolfsburg just beat Man City. Sociedad just beat Napoli. Bilbao and Celtic, nil-nil. Chelsea beat Dortmund. Inter beat Barca. Olympiacos with a big win. Sparta Prague drew Juventus and is apparently very much in this. So good for Sparta Prague. Dang, dude. Couple of opportunities to win that have gone to the wayside against Ajax and against Bayern. Bayern kits on that? I know. I am wearing the Bayern kit right now. That's the reason that we didn't score. I think promising in a huge pay rise will remove the release clause. Maybe it's worth it. I will tell you, I've never tried it, and weird little ideas like that have a strange way of working out on Football Manager. So let's go to Ali Bube and offer him a big pay rise. Oh. Good idea, though. Worth a shot. Yeah, no CR7 in the lineup. I heard is Anthony Alonga gets the, uh, gets the start, right? I think we'll go, what, starters, backup starters, Excellent probably. Even though it's player, a weight of Ocker Innsbruck. Messi. <laughs> that was so bad. I'm going to give that a B minus, Gilmore, because it was so bad it was good. But that it could have deserved an F. I just want you to know that. Alonga's painful to watch. I mean, he's been beloved before. It's just one of those. As, uh, as, as Reese would say, it's one of those in it. Okay, so the potential actually seems to be fading for Vukajin Stepanovic. He looked like he might be a wonder kid that we go splash some cash on as soon as the opportunity presents itself. Okay, training. Good work, everybody. I see Sava Bradovic has decided to turn a corner. Which is great. Kevin Enriquez has, has turned. Sander Henneman seems to have turned a corner as well. He seems very comfortable at the club now. He seems to be improving really aggressively. Uh, and I think in no time, you know, he'll be the next Yusufa Mukoko. Christian Yildiz. Good athlete. He's not stupid. Controls the ball well. Picks out passes. I still love that, man. Stefano. That's good. Anticipation is one of the key attributes for him, so... Nice to see that increasing like crazy. Jan Trujillo. Heck of a player. Heck of a player. Happy to see him in the top 10 of uh, players on the team. Look at Eric Alec. I didn't expect... He seemed to be a bit of a moody guy when we first signed him. I didn't expect him to be capable of that kind of you know, explosive improvement that we've seen from him. How dare Manchester United bench their captain? How dare their captain not be uh, Ronaldo? At least I thought it... Sh I, I believed that it should have switched to Ronaldo when he joined the team, but... I have a look up, good sir. Uh... I do, right. My apologies. Chao Pedro, currently at Watford. Duly noted. See that real quick then. Um, This, yeah, that's the guy. Uh, so he moved to Bayer Labor. So Watford uh, got promoted. Back up, back down. Played well in the championship. Then Bayer Leverkusen bought him for $57 million. And uh, it took him a little while. He was a rotation player at first. Uh, but for the last, you know, four, now five seasons, he was a regular first team player for Leverkusen, at least a 7.1 rating every year. Uh, and you know, I don't know if Bayer Leverkusen have, have won any competitions. He did win at the Olympics with Brazil, uh, but they've not, they've not won any trophies, but he has been having some fun with Bayer Leverkusen. So that's good. Let's go, Vanderdangit. Uh, Owen, oh dear, Owen. 
Oh, and Vanda, dang it, please. Everybody's good. Everybody's fit. Everybody can play today. Let's do it. I want us to keep. Uh, I want us to keep training this group of players, and we're gonna play. You know, just because of the way the schedule has worked out, we're gonna be able to get our full first team in the field. So, ask assistant. You wanna mark him, and we can mark him. You got a good assistant. I all 3.0 or whatever point oh, whatever version of I all we're on now is the assistant manager. Do 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 do. Owen Vanderhorst. Let's see. This match we should be winning. Let's make sure that we do. See, we bounce back from that. I'm going to play with an attacking style today, chat. Attacking style. Away to Vakar Innsbruck, who just got promoted. They are the worst team in the league, it would seem. Uh, and us playing our starters, we want to make this ugly. They have a very wide pitch. So I want to beat them by a lot because their pitch is unnecessary. Oh, nice. Good clearance. I'm really liking Benegas now. That last match really turned a new leaf for me on Benegas. I didn't know he had that in him right now. Do you normally have tighter marking on? Yeah, we've, we've turned it on basically because our team is really athletic. <laughs> And so we're like, we can basically run with the people that we're, we are with. We're younger and we're more athletic. Um, we even had it on for the first 60 minutes against Bayern. Uh, but I turned it off because I felt like it was dragging Enriquez out of position. No problem with Enriquez having a pop. The dude can score from serious range. Oh, Vanderhorst. Opportunity for, uh, for a sneaky, beautiful pass there. Just keep the pressure on. Owen, what a touch. Trujillo. Owen! There he is. He's that dude. He's that dude. And he runs right to the away section and starts blowing the kisses. It's Owen Vanderhorst. Oof. What a hit. The way he shapes the ball, the way he strikes the ball, the way he plays for Floridsdorfer AC. His song sung loud and proud and a 1-0 lead at Vacher Innsbruck early on. Oh, yeah, Dane on the 1-2. Trujillo's the extra man now. Trujillo's just going. Hervé, that's easy enough to save. The Vanderhorst might eventually... He's going to go for the, the club league goal scoring record, even though he's not even a striker. Just because he's here so long and scores like 10 a season. I'll slip him. Oh. Trujillo to Dane. How did Dane get to that ball? His agility and balance and stuff is... That was some giddy up for Max Dane. How'd the Bayern game go? Nil, nil, draw. Boy, we had 1.4 XG and we didn't score. We put the pressure on. Oh, Henneman, nice touch. This Westfall guy is going to be very busy and I'm thinking key highlights. Because we have run them off the field so far. Roman. That better be us. Oh my goodness, Benegas. Uh, every good thing... Thank you, Bube. Every good thing that we've said about you, Julio Cesar. Hmm. Hmm. Head it down. Hustle. Hustle. Look at Dane. He's hustling. That's us. Easy. Easy peasy. Enriquez, Dane, Henneman. That's beautiful. Beautiful from Vanderhorst, Hervé. He's so strong, he should just be able to put that guy behind him and then tuck it in whatever corner he wants. We got to score. I mean, this is... Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> got to score. That chance too easy, too obvious. Needs to end up at the back of the net. Thank you, Kevin. 
it's disappointing if we don't create at least a very obvious chance from here. I love the play. Head it back across the goal. Tap it in. Enriquez just too tall. Where's Dane? He's on the field. He just got the uh, hockey assist for that goal. What player traits do your strikers have? We haven't put any on Hinneman or uh, Hervé yet because they're still under the age of 20, and that's just my general rule of thumb is let them grow into themselves more uh, before we look to to add to their game. Hinneman, I wanted to do rounds the keeper, but uh, every member of my coaching staff said that was stupid. I'm like, why? Because he's so stupidly fast, he could just knock it around and create angles with his speed. Uh, but he's got places shots now. I can't remember why I decided to do that, but Henneman does have places shots. Because he's actually a good finisher. Attribute-wise, he just creates so many chances that it feels like he still misses a lot. Oh, it's Hervé! You! going with this freaking scoop shot every time max and you know what there might be a better option dude there might be a better option what a lovely passing combination that was just a set play yeah he's a melon he, he's an absolute melon put him in the melon category Hervé oh God, Hervé you're just not you're, the game isn't slowed down for you today is it oh whoa! in the very top draw very very top draw indeed max dane the dutch international lighting vacker innsbruck on fire i mean they, if you're gonna back off a guy that's that good he's gonna do that right that's more just they left him so open and yeah, like a guy that's that good. Oh, I love the quick pass from Henneman. Hervé's just like, he has really good, his balance and strength and first touch are all fantastic. He's really good at maintaining possession. And uh, we haven't seen that Thanks in this game for, for whatever reason. Zed. Who? Do you think Pulisic will leave Chelsea? Yeah, probably. And it probably better for it. I think he would really belong on a, uh, you know, what was it? Juventus were interested. Atletico Madrid are interested. I think oh, those teams would be very fitting. That dude just got embarrassed by Bubay there. <sighs> I'm happy with the number of shots we've taken. Seem a little complacent. We have given up two pretty obvious chances towards the goal. I mean, obviously we're likely to win. I'm just saying. Oh, Dane is uh, he's dragging a little bit. Aviv! Need you. Uh, yield is. Get in there. Do a little double switch. Just love a really good touch when the ball is switched out wide in this game. Oh, Dane, that was clean. That was so clean. That was a bad pass there, Trujillo. Dane gave you a lot of space and time to make something happen with that. Trujillo, Trujillo, Trujillo. Oh my goodness, Jan. Jan! Great defense from Stefano de Este. I don't know, we did, we sold our top three center backs and yet still I love our back line. De Este and Benegas have been immense. Run, 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 run. You gotta stay in front of him. You gotta stay in front of him. You didn't stay, oh my goodness. Did you just see that? <laughs> this is one of the this is one of the hottest goals I've ever seen, and the worst team in the league just dropped it on us. Did you just see that goal? I'm as zoomed in as I could possibly be. Look at this. That's disgusting. But that is nasty. Nasty. So clean, just ramps it into the far side of the net. Completely fools Bube. Wow. Okay, man. Chill. 
<laughs> they're only down 3-1. That's only the, uh, the fourth goal we've conceded all season, actually, when you really think about it. Enriquez, that is a beautiful delivery. Gave Dieste an hour to... Oh, Pespicial, he wants it. No, he doesn't. Venegas does on the short hop volley, and he kind of caught it pretty well. Oh, just turn and shoot. Ah, uh, Vanderhorst. If it's on that left foot and you're inside 20 yards, dude, I just want you to crank it. If there's a channel, Owen, we know what you can do for that left foot. Those majestic strikes towards the far corner. Good ball from Aviv. He loves that open-footed pop over the top, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, easy, 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 easy. Yeah, Dane's goal was great. Honestly, I think that one was better. It was just so composed. Oh, Yield is. Is he on? Oh, oh, he's off. But what a... <laughs> okay, <laughs> what a header. That's a shame. That would have been really, really impressive for the highlight reel. Nice pass, Owen. Henneman. Orveo! <sighs> Shrub, that's a C. Thank you for the eight months, but that is a C. to get him off. Where's Parado? The Vletchen does have uh, fatigue issues every once in a while. He's, he can't do a bunch of matches in a row. Nice. Oh, great pass! Hey! Uh, yeah, I did not know Xander could do that. I did not know Xander could do that. He is not a big-time passer. I suppose he's getting better at it. It's like, what, 13 now? That is uh, that's a darn good pass. And Hervé with his weak right foot. Honestly, his right foot's so weak he could have uh, he could have missed that. But he was able to just hit the ball with his right foot and send it into the back of the net, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna chill the team out. Don't want anybody blowing a tire in the last 10 minutes, and we did play a match four days ago with the same lineup. Oh, please. Oh, that would have been the best. Oh, that was so good. Look at this build-up play. We'll start at Penegas. This is the, this is this tactic, like, at its best. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And we're in on goal. That, oh, that is so beautiful. That is just gorgeous. I mean, that is, I'm, I'm literally going to watch it again. Yildiz, Talias, back to Enriquez. Yildiz still going. Irve with the layoff, 1-2 to Talias. He just needed to score it. Is there a network game this week? Yes, it is tomorrow. Network game is tomorrow. So that's some perhaps to look forward to. Network game tomorrow. My dwarf a little bit before the network game. We'll see. I'm thinking about it. Nice work, everyone. That was good. Yeah, that was good 4-1 win. Uh, we were not good at defending uh, out wide in that game. Our fullbacks struggled. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we really have not had a game where our guys just put everything away in a long time. Always good to get an early goal. I think it settled everybody down. Um, you know, 11 wins from 12 to start the season. I think anybody would take that, but they're keeping pace with us. Oh, he gashed his upper leg. Yeah, I think he should be back for the next one. He should be back for the next one. The next Champions League match, I mean. Um, the fabulous strike by Max Dane. I mean, both of his goals have been... Both of his goals have been really good. Seven months up the Dorfers. 
I enjoyed the Max Dane strike. I, I did. I'm at home against Altish Reindorf in the cup round of 16. And that is our next big moment. Claudio Bravo, that's the fullback. Oh, fine, we'll let him go. I, mean, I kind of still like the guy, but... The medical car, thank you for the seven months. And uh, yes, up the Dorfers. I appreciate it. You gonna watch the match tonight? I am. I am. Yeah, we're streaming up until Liverpool against Manchester United, and then I will be tweeting during Liverpool and Manchester United, as is custom. I will be tweeting. Likely making fun of someone. I mean, it's not like Liverpool's lit the world on fire to start the season either, so... Darwin Nunez is busy sitting out, what, three games now? Finished my first season of FM21 as Leicester. Beat City twice. 5-1 uh, aggregate. Ended up turning around a mediocre season with 16th place halfway to go to Europe. Nice. <laughs> Clapping it up for Bubber. We, you know, we, we support each other. We support each other's successes in saves what the discord is for have you joined the discord oh you haven't well that's interesting one of the mods is about to link something in the chat that's going to be very interesting for you it might just change your life it's our discord server the biggest football manager discord server in the entire world but it's not just football manager it isn't of course you already knew that it's so much more it's for all of your gaming and irl football soccer discussing needs as well over twenty thousand members playing the game you like there's even some dungeons and dragons games going on if you're subscribed there's an extra section where you can submit save your saves there's an extra little chat in there the lounge which is people here can attest i will literally if i'm just gaming and playing crusader kings at midnight sometimes i'll just be hanging out in there something i love to do there are a couple of brazilians i've got my eyes on here a couple of lads that are around i notice the players that are showing up on our reports are getting more expensive you wouldn't have anything to do with that, would you? Except for 19-year-old Lukas Mikulashik. Because he might just be great. Alexi Castaño is great. Josir, Vladimir Zalik. A Slovene, perhaps. Dewey Whitfield. Well, he's a little expensive, isn't he? But, you know, good finds. Good finds all around. Alan, thank you for the prime. Hart, thank you so much for the prime. We need more save your saves? We do once a month. Yeah, we do save your saves once a month. It's always been like that since the beginning of time. It's always been once a month. Do, 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 do. I post on your Twitter a perfect tiki taka goal from your tactic. Would love you to check it out. I might see it, yeah. I will I will definitely be on Twitter today during the match. Yuri Stenge, Thomas Visser. Hard to turn down somebody with that kind of potential that seems to be underachieving. Yo, Trick, thanks for the two months. I figured I should come check out the stream. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the YouTube content. Content, man. I'd recommend Milo Jovanovic no longer trains as a central midfielder. Unless he's given more experience in the position. Well, if he actually makes it, then he would. I think Eric Alec and Shervander Plus should be moved mentoring units. I don't think so. They want to move them out of the Lucas Torreira mentoring unit, and that would over that would flood Joe Hodges' mentoring unit. I do not want to do that. Kevin, are you okay with going down one? Because I would love to bring you down a notch. We have a few too many guys on star player for my liking. Dude, dude, dude. How is this playing time squad player? The dude plays almost every game. He gets mad at me. I swear I'm going to be mad. I noticed that Aviv Talius was getting better. I think he was just getting the ability back that he lost when he got here. Look at Manuel trying to throw his hat in the ring for center back in the future. Sander Henneman's got the potential to be that sort of player. I think he already is that sort of player. He is that dude. We are 15 subs away from 200k on YouTube. Wait, really? 
How do you do that like tracker thing? I, I don't even know. Like when people look at their like YouTube subs, what's the thing that they look at? Any chance of streaming CK3 in the future? Uh, yeah, there's a chance. I'm always addicted to a Paradox game of some kind, and CK3 is the one I'm on right now. I've united Africa and taken the Holy Land and defeated two Crusades, so things are going according to plan. It's just a little update for our short lists here. We can go ahead and drop Daniel. Dude, plays right back in Striker. I love it. I absolutely love it. Do you, King? It's the big matches. All right, so I got to figure this thing out. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Ayala. I add the social blade extension to Chrome. Okay. Do I have a login? I don't have a login for social blade. Create one for free. Passwords you enter do not match. Am I okay? Hello, Zealand. Thanks. Okay. And then I do what? I think I nailed it. It's definitely right. Go to the studio, it'll be on the left near the bottom. Okay. Oh, there it is. Nice. That's cool. Me over here literally Googling YouTube sub tracker. Yeah! Spring and go, baby. Ten to go. Not a huge milestone guy, honestly. I was reminded in the mod meeting that we were closing in on 200,000, but, you know, I think the most important thing about a milestone, um, any, you know, big old round number, is uh, being able to thank people. So thank you. I hope to reward your support by making ever cooler stuff. Like the apartments we're looking at are specifically for content creation. My brother's gonna start to work for me. He is gonna be a cameraman. We're gonna be able to do so much, uh, so much cool stuff. Oh, you got five. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's just gonna happen now. Gary, what do you think? First ever football manager channel to do it. 
And now it goes back down. I know how the internet works. I've seen you work before. Thank you guys. A hundred gifted from Mombot for 200K. A hundred gifted from Mombot for 200K. I appreciate it. Thank you. I am um, perpetu uh, perpetually in awe that that many people are um, are subscribed, pay attention, care. I don't know. I, when I had 50 followers on Twitch, I had 50 followers on Twitch. Um, I finally hit the 50 follower mark. Here for 200k and for 13 months. I was so in awe that 50 people had followed me and were waiting for me to uh to go live were interested in in watching the stream that i was able to contribute to like their um their lives their viewing experience jackson 07 thank you so much for the prime i was like i'm, I'm dead serious Like, I remember, it's a specific memory. I had 50 followers. I woke up next to the girlfriend I had at the time, and I looked at her, I was like, can you believe that 50 people follow, like, they follow me on Twitch? And now, like, you know, if you go back, and I don't know a lot of people that end up in my position say this sort of stuff, right? Because I'm you, I'm like you, and I watch other people go through these sorts of experiences. And uh, if you if you go back and tell that person that was so excited for 50 people to be excited to watch the stream, where we're at now, I, 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 I like to think I would believe you, but honestly, I'd probably be so excited that I might just run around in circles until I passed out. Thargoff, thank you so much for, uh, for continuing the gifted sub. Kebabs, thank you for the prime. I mean, it's kind of incredible because outside of like the TwitchCon where I got to meet a lot of you guys in person for the first time, uh, it, it, like I just sit in my room and do stuff and you guys think it's cool. And that's why I, I continue to try and invest and to try and make stuff better. And I think that there's, um, there's a very, 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 very cool next couple of months for us together. Because we, you know, we're we're going to Floridsdorfer at the end of September, and that's just going to be such a unique experience. We're going to be able to hang out with the team, uh, make videos with the team, go to a game, uh, and that all like all of that stuff is just going to be so surreal. I think all of that is just going to be so surreal, and it's uh, it. You know, I hope I hope for you guys evidence of how much we. I say we because it's a team now how much we take it seriously and how much we are determined to take advantage of the opportunity that we have where I, I, I think that um, what I think my biggest fear would be plateauing at all and I don't mean like growth wise I mean plateauing in terms of the content that we make and wanting to always make, you know, better stuff. We're going to try some stuff that is going to flop too. I'm sure. That's just the way that it works. But ideally, everything we do is is just going to be better than the last thing we did. And every, you know, it's it's just all going to be a fun way forward. How's your camera set up now? Uh, well, I mean, we're moving in like a week and a half. So right now we're kind of in a bit of a holding pattern. Uh, but once we move, then we're just we're we're gonna elevate we're gonna it, it, like the whole house is just gonna be dedicated to making really um re re dedicated to making really good videos yeah uh but we're uh yeah so announcements i'm trying so honestly what i've been trying to do is i'm treading water because i'm i'm bad at making plans on what to do for these sorts of things uh but i, I am it is 
as I told my mom, I'm, or as I said in the mod meeting on Sunday, I'm a bad YouTuber because I didn't realize that 200,000 subs was coming up. Uh, but I am going to the Euro uh, European Games Expo uh, at the end of September. There, uh, If you would like to see me there, I will be on a panel. Uh, and so that will be that will be very fun and hopefully you guys are able to make it or you're near it that's in london uh and that will be right before i go to vienna for florence Dorfer. and if you guys are in or around vienna i would obviously love to see you guys as well um <laughs> the guy the guy at florence Dorfer asked me if anybody would be waiting to take my picture at the Absolutely airport and i'm like hey, you do realize there isn't like a paparazzi following <laughs> he's like oh yeah 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 i just didn't know I'm like okay fair enough isn't it in Birmingham? Like, dude, I don't know. Uh, Laluja just said, get to London, and I'm doing that. So I will uh, I will be at EGX uh, in the end of September, and we will be going to Floyd's uh after that. And that, that those are some exciting plans to share. I think that's... that. that uh, I'll, I'll limit it to one... Uh, one unveiling one thing but i i really appreciate it i i like i don't know i can't believe it <laughs> you know i made a i should look for that list that might be like a touching thing to do i made a list when i had 3000 subscribers on youtube i made a list of every football manager YouTuber that I could find. And I wrote down how many subscribers they had. And I, I, this is real. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it up here. I wrote down how many subscribers they had and the entire point, it's called FM YouTubes. And the entire point was for me to get to the top of the list. Like I'm not I'm not even kidding. Here. I made a list of all of them on my phone. Me. Dream big, kids. We got to the top of the list. I don't know why I said kids. I mean, anybody can dream big. Just uh, just watch Mr. Diz. He came up with one great idea, and then he was able to quit his job and go full-time just, like, interviewing people and playing football manager. I mean, that sort of stuff is awesome. From 3K to the Fog Plots. Exactly. And getting to 3K was a journey. You know what I mean? It's it, it, an achievement in itself. You should update the list. Damn, you're competitive. I'm very competitive. But that wasn't even much... It wasn't as much a competitive thing. It's just like, this is where I need to go. This is where I want to go. I had no idea how I was going to get there. I always say that. But I, I knew that was where I wanted to... Uh, I knew that was where I wanted to go. And we not only... I hadn't even met any of the guys at that time. Then we met them all. And then we... Got all the way to that. Which is pretty incredible. And so I... I thank you guys and... We'll wrap it there. And la a last touching moment. I need to add this guy to my short list. True to form. Enjoy Liverpool United. Um, thank you guys so much for, for 200,000. You regret meeting Kev? Only a little. But yes, uh, thank you. I, I, I don't know what to say. Other than to tell you touching stories about... <laughs> How, uh, how your thought process changes. And um, yet, uh, there's a, okay, I'll leave you with something. The context is morbid, but I think it's a great quote. Uh, it, was, uh, it was Winston Churchill, actually, that I think sums up uh, where we're at with the channel and where we're at with the stream. This is not the end. This is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Thank you for 200K. Enjoy the game. I'll be tweeting about it.